Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Let's continue with... Oxygen not included. Herix, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I seem to remember... Problems. Oh yeah, we had to replace the metal tile here with a regular tile, which had to be made out of obsidian, so it doesn't melt. Um, something that will conduct heat not so fast, so that we can make our cr uh, crude oil into petroleum. Um, I seem to remember that going not so well, and there was a bit of trial and error. When's our next eruption? 4.4 cycles. Oh yeah, and we just captured that bit of hydrogen that got stuck in the steam room somehow. Be free, hydrogen. Fantastic. Alright. Um, what else have we got going on? Before I speed up the game, I want to take a look around. This thing is dormant for almost 20 cycles. Uh, this one is churning out iron as we speak. Fantastic. Maybe I shouldn't... Maybe I shouldn't power these, uh... Like, the other one is powered. Maybe I shouldn't power these me mechanized airlocks. So we have kind of a latch behavior-ish with that built in. Veldak, good to see you again. You're welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Pardon my voice, uh, trying to get back to normal. Are we live? I'm late. Well, that kind of makes two of us. It was very hot and there was a lot of noise nearby. I had to put it off a little bit. Um, but yeah, we are back. Um, we are slowly getting ready. Well, that's not good. Uh, we are slowly getting ready to tap into our copper volcano as well. More power, more metal. Very good. There's not that much oil on this, uh, in this oil biome. Right? Is it just me? We haven't consumed much yet. Yeah, it seems like there really is relatively not that much. Um, so we've got no petroleum from here. And there's no eruption for four cycles. Did we finish setting this up? So oil comes in here. We measure the temperature right next to... The conductive tile, the relatively conductive tile. We say, well, we're probably going to change these. Um, we've got a knot gate, so we're going to stop letting oil in as soon as we detect X amount of oil or petroleum up here. Uh, we're not going to open this to What the... Timing. Did I just flip this somehow? Uh, that was weird. I didn't... I didn't, like, click this, did I? Uh, so if we are below some temperature, 25 degrees... Oh, great. Now I'm going to have to wait until... Now I'm going to have to wait until there's fluid in there. Because we only want to open this when it's cool enough to not break the liquid pump, right? Um... We need some hydrogen in this thing as well. Oh, and we can get rid of this stuff. Finally. And that can go as well. So I need a little hydrogen in here. 
We'll replace it with a thermal, with an aquatina later on. Uh, when we've got some better coolant to put in here. We could probably do it with petroleum. Um, but yeah, we need something with the temperature range that can handle petroleum without changing state. Uh, I also need to make sure we don't run this thing before we're ready. Alright, hydrogen. Let's invite a little bit in. And this time I really do just mean a little bit. Why is there a... Sake. How is there oxygen in here again? And why is there a giant gap where we have no hydrogen? There's nothing coming out this way? Did I break it somehow? No? Do we have no oxygen? Seems like we've got plenty of oxygen. There's plenty of hydrogen here. There's plenty of hydrogen here. Larius, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having an excellent day, t hacks. Thank you. Um. Okay, what the hell happened? Why is there zero hydrogen up here? I'm pretty sure this wasn't connected a second ago, right? So it's not something up there. Oh. Is is this it? Did I do... Did I, like, put this backward or something? And how did oxygen get in there? Okay, let's see. This should never ever take in anything but oxygen. We should be able to be confident of that, but... Uh, hydrogen goes here, goes up this way. Hold on. No, it goes down. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. Okay. And then in here, out here. In here, out here. So far, so good. And then... That is connected wrong. Okay. And that filter was supposed to get the old oxygen out, I think. So, how do we... With the position I put this in... That might seriously be a problem. How am I going to get the input over there? Bridge, bridge, no. I guess I have to temporary, temporarily remove some pieces of pipe here. Oh, we can't even put another bridge here. Oh, no. I second that, Larius. It's an only kind of day, indeed. How did I think this was going to work? I think I thought the hydrogen came up anti-clockwise. Yeah, I must have. So, if I flip this around, how am I going to get the output? Oh, that's easy, actually. No, that... Yeah, that should be totally fine. Alright. Hurry up, please. Anyone on the job? No, everyone's asleep. Ayaku, Makshnil Bitte. Petri Cotton Tail. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Maybe connect the input for the hydrogen filter to 
an output instead of another input square, indeed. Evil plot. Good to see you again also. Welcome in. Alright, so this goes this way. We snip this. This this goes here. This goes here. This goes here and this goes here. Right? Pretty sure that's it. Easy enough. Construction top priority. Fantastic. And we need to filter, uh, set this to hydrogen. Cool. And hopefully, uh, we should never need that again. Once we get the oxygen out of the loop. And hopefully we'll see the loop repopulate quite soon. We do have two full containers of hydrogen for the moment, so that shouldn't be difficult. It's going 50-50 from here and from here. And there goes our oxygen. Fantastic. I'm going to let this run for a little while, but I'm pretty sure we've finally got all of the old gases out of that loop. What's this uh, made out of? Iron. So both of the anti-entropy thermo nullifiers can be repaired with iron if we screw that up somehow. That's a relief at least. And now we're draining the gas reservoirs at full speed. Cool, cool, cool. Shouldn't be very long at all before the loop is repopulated. And that'll mean we get our cooling back, and hopefully don't cook ourselves to death. How's our food? It's down to 60k. That's uh, a little disconcerting. Now we have pressure problems in here. Why? Pressure. Carbon dioxide, 151 grams. Uh, why, do, why is there so much CO2 over here? That's kind of weird, isn't it? Can I slap in... Uh, a carbon skimmer somewhere? Like here, I guess. Or even here. It outputs P water, right? Where's an example? Here we go. The P water output is up the top on the right. Uh, so we should be able... Where was it? To squeeze one in here? No, there's no room. If I put it here, we can just do pee water like so, and water like so. Fantastic. It's actually pretty easy. I guess we can... How much is on this... 1.24 kilowatt, theoretically, on this wire. Uh, let's maybe stop using that. And replace it with conductive wire. Apparently we've got plenty of lead at the moment. this old crap. Benwu, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How's your stream today? Twitch chat not showing me that I replied to Veldak? Uh, I can see it, that you replied to Veldak, Bricks. And welcome in, Benwu. How you doing? Oh, and before I forget, we need some power down here. Cool. And then 
that should be fine? Question mark? Apparently we need a bridge here for it not to get confused. Uh, okay. Okay, I see how it is. Now I see it too. Chat is weird, indeed. Alright, so we're going to delete CO2 from here. Also, I should probably let CO2 drop down on this side. Uh, I don't know if it's just because CO2 that we were having pressure issues here. It's like all CO2 at the moment, so... Apart from that chlorine... Not a fan of that. I really don't like how gases that there's there's like no current air currents and gases tend to never go left and right far enough so the size of the room that you're incentivized to build otherwise you end up with with gas stuck here indefinitely but since once we get rid of the co2 i think the chlorine will eventually find its way out of there okay now we've got some food growing. That's looking a bit better. Just as well, because we've lost 10,000 K calories uh, in that time. Alright. Now, how is this looking? When does this erupt? 2.4 cycles. I might want to save before that. Current ambient temperature above 400 degrees, and it's inverted, so below. Oh yeah, I think we found, I think we found the temperature rose nice and slowly uh, when we used the obsidian tile to heat up the crude oil. In fact, maybe I should use it over here as well. It's a bit late for this one, but like, I mean, I it, it'd be a pain, but I could replace it. But yeah, next playthrough, I would definitely use obsidian, just regular, regular tiles made of obsidian uh, for the conductive parts. We really don't need to conduct it very quickly overall. Uh, I guess we'll take some ice, why not? Just building really big. Doubt you'll need to do as much as I do. I'm just going crazy, <laughs> indeed. Uh, I still have a bunch of stuff that I need to do for Factorio off-stream. Unless you'll find replacing the old outposts to be the most riveting content. Or replacing really, really basic builds, like, uh... Well, blue circuits are not that basic, but... There's more than a few of them where I just need to replace, uh, Assembly Machine 3s with advanced ones. And... Advanced furnaces with even more advanced furnaces. I mean... Industrial furnaces with advanced furnaces. I don't think we need this uh, gas pipe here, do we? Let's hope we never need it again. I'm doing the opposite. One building for each thing. Compact spaghetti. Constantly thinking if I should upscale, but I idle a lot anyway. Hmm. Hmm. That's an interesting idea for a challenge in Factorio, actually. Literally the minimum number of machines, without using crafting combinators, because that kind of makes the limit pretty obvious. Um, minimum number of machines, but maximum speed with that limitation. Hmm. And try and make it compact as well. One building of each is very reasonable. It'll work out just fine. Yeah. 
yeah, especially like like while you're getting things set up, especially in space exploration, um, you're gonna like get most of your stuff that you need research. Like apart from big things, like maybe productivity bonuses. Uh, you're gonna get stuff researched by one machine of each type before you finish building the next type of science. Um, I need a ladder. I really wish they could jump up to ladders like here. Actually, it's kind of weird to me that they can they can reach here but not here. What's the easiest way to fix this? If I remove this tile... Oh, I could remove the critter drop-off. We don't actually have anything here right now. What kind of critters are these for? Poker shells. Okay. Actually, no. That thing has settings. The grooming station does not. Easier to swap out the grooming station for a second. Okay, I'm gonna have to play with this once the liquid comes in. Uh, so I'm have, gonna have to say like below 9,000. No, above 9,000. Okay. And then when we actually have liquid here, so that it gives a signal, um, I can change that back to something more reasonable. We need some hydrogen in this little loop here. Maybe I should have a container for this. Okay, let's just try... One, two, three, four. Uh, almost... Almost four kilograms of hydrogen. There's room for it here, that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, and then... We run that through here. And then we switch that off... For uh, the moment. Uh, and there will be gaps in the thermoregulator running, I think? Actually, I can run it for just a moment, as long as it doesn't, like, actually get cold enough to solidify. Um, I just want to see a loop or two to make sure this is actually enough to effectively keep it saturated. It is not. We could do with, like, one, two, three. Three more kilograms, I guess. What temperature is it at? Negative 30 something? Okay. One, two, three. That's two. I'll um, give that a shot. That still leaves gaps. Just a little bit more. One kilo at a time. Oh, it is... It is draining temperature from that hydrogen very quickly. Okay, you know what? That's probably good enough. Uh, I can't keep doing this until there's something to warm up the hydrogen. <laughs> One point one cycles until our experiment. Nice, the big designs are a different kind of challenge, indeed. Gases move in cubes. All right, it's physics one hundred and one, indeed. Yeah, uh, Oni will teach you many very true and reliable things about physics, Lamel. I mean, they'll give you some. I'll give you some broad ideas that are that are good, but uh, compressed water, not not really a thing. Not at any 
relevant level, even at the bottom of the ocean. I guess this is the... It's not the mass of the water, it's like the weight of the water at this point, pressing down on this tile. You could try thinking of it like that, but no, we know that's actually... I'm pretty sure we know that's actually how much mass of water is in there. Alright. I really want to see our petroleum boiler working. Oh, here it comes. 0.6 cycles. Alright. So we've already got some crude in here. As soon as we get heat, we're going to get some petroleum. It's going to sort of explode up this way. Hopefully not literally. And then we get a signal up here. And we're going to tweak it. There's going to be some amount of petroleum here when it wouldn't flow over. Um, and we want to set this one accordingly. I should probably save it here. This time, this time there will be no sour gas. Campaign promises. There's 28.4 tons of hot igneous rock here. All right. So what's this set to? It's set to let this tile heat up to 400 degrees until we switch off... Uh, open the door, basically. So we stop letting the heat through. And... The, uh, the liquid vent is going to be set to... To let liquid through based on these two hydro sensors. We've got a knot gate in there basically as a compact AND gate. Because we can set these one way or the other very easily. Our eruption is coming in 70 seconds. Here we go. Thirty-five. Twenty. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And our temperature is not even rising just yet. The tile is at uh, three hundred degrees. And our thermo sensor is only detecting 193. 194. Fantastic. Probably should have taken that steel out of there. It's probably fine. Alright, I guess uh, we're probably not running this at slow mo for now. Not until this is getting close to 400. It's happening nice and slowly. The tile itself is at 800 degrees, 900 degrees, 950. Uh, it doesn't have that much thermal mass though, I believe. Compared to 100 kilos of steel, 200 kilos of obsidian, as what? Steel, solid. Uh, let's see. So it's twice the mass compared to a tile of metal. Specific heat capacity 0.49. Thermal conductivity 54. Obsidian is much, 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 much lower thermal conductivity. Uh, specific heat capacity 0.2. So multiply that by 2 is 
So it's, uh... It's a bit lower. It's not that much lower. Like, 20% almost. 20% less uh, thermal mass on this tile than on one of the metal tiles. But the thermal conductivity, much, much, much slower. And we are up to 295. It's getting a bit faster now. I do wish we could measure the temperature on this tile as opposed to the crude oil itself. Maybe I should make some kind of circuit to, like, pulse the mechanized airlock on and off so that we conduct heat from it more slowly. Oh, it's actually dropping temp. Is it conducting it up this way? Yeah, I think it was. The, the heat from the tile here was getting stolen by the steam room, which is actually fine. I am very okay with this. That just makes it more slow and stable overall for the crude oil to reach 400 degrees. Oh! We're only at 362 on this tile and we're getting petroleum. So... I'm pretty sure it's 900, uh, 399 degrees, right? Yeah, it's 400 degrees, plus like 2 or 3 degrees to turn this into petroleum. And yet... Oh, what? How can the thermo sensor be at 433 degrees, but it's reporting 362? The crude oil is at 350. Huh. Hmm. So is it like taking the average of all of the mass on that tile? Whatever the case. We now have petroleum getting up here. So... Well, we'll want to tweak those in a minute. Let's see... see what happens. And why are we getting, like, gaps in here? We've got a vacuum. Yeah, we do have a vacuum. There's no sour gas. Yeah, look at that. Why do we get this, uh, vacuum bubble, I wonder? That's really weird. Maybe I should set this thing lower? Hmm. As long as we don't end up getting sour gas, I don't really mind, to be honest. Okay, so we should now be running our thermoregulator. Uh, and we're going to run it until... Until this thermosensor says... Below 25 Celsius. At which point the door will open and... Some nice, cool petroleum will drop down here, where it will not destroy the liquid pump. That seems to be uh, working. Alright, so we got, what? 135 degree hydrogen here. Going up to 200 something when it touches the petroleum. I think it's working. I think it's working. What's our temp here? 212? 211? 210? Dare I speed it up again? 
Oh, current ambient temperature is almost 400. Oh, it's fluctuating kind of a lot. So when it's a vacuum for a tile, but if it, when it's a vacuum very briefly, I think it's just going by the automation wire and the thermo sensor. And then we've got crude oil that's a bit colder. Hmm. I wish we could make the uh, automation stuff more or less responsive. Because obviously, some of the time, this is, should be meeting the condition where it opens the door. But it's never once sending a green signal. But I don't really mind as long as we don't get sour gas. As long as, as, long as it works. We're down to 207 degrees over here. Fantastic. How much pressure do we have here? 0.3 kilograms. That's probably... Uh, I can't set it that low, can I? Okay, so if we're below 1 kilogram of water, of, of petroleum on this tile, we can probably make that green. Or other way around, probably. And if crude oil or whatever is less than... How much do we have? 600? Let's try that. So if we are below 600, and then we have to invert both of these because we're using a not gate as a compact and gate. So that one is not true, this one is true. They have to be both false to let in more crude oil. That should probably be right. Very nice. And of course we've got a lot of cooling to do uh, before we get some petroleum dropping down here. It's overkill, no doubt, uh, to get it down to 25 degrees before we let it touch the liquid pump, but we're immediately going to get a little bit of hot petroleum dropping down this way sometimes, I think. So I, I want to be as careful as possible. Like, if I'd realized how much of a problem this part would be, I probably would have made a whole... Like, a much bigger room. Maybe I should put the liquid pump, like, more towards the top of a pool of petroleum. And we only let petroleum into that when it's cool enough. And then it's going to have a much bigger thermal mass. It's going to be easier to keep it cool. It probably won't be that bad once it gets going. Alright, can we speed it up? With no disasters occurring? Oh, oh, we're letting more oil in. And it stopped. Oh, it stopped because of pressure. Well, that's a good reason too. How much pressure is here? 1,000 kilograms of crude. Isn't that unusually high for crude? Uh, that makes me a little nervous. Not gonna lie. That gives me the concern. Please don't explode. The door opened for a brief moment. Uh, this one did? Oh. What? Oh no. I remember this. Uh, why? 
why are you like this? I can't fit another sensor here to tell it don't let crude oil in if its pressure is really high. Bruh. There isn't something I can make a liquid pump out of that can that can handle 400 degree fluid, right? Certainly not yet. Mm, maybe I should redesign this whole thing. This part's very good. This part's fine. We need to... Hmm. Maybe I should have... Hmm. Maybe I should have just put this hydro sensor down here. We can't have these two over pressure when there's vacuum on this tile, right? Like... Probably. I feel like the transition or movement between crude and petrol is creating a tick of vacuum and crude flows in. Hmm. We might have... I, I probably made my save a bit too close to the eruption. We might have to ignore it for a little while. I'm hoping I can salvage this build, I just don't want to tear down that much stuff and start over, but maybe I should. So... Basically I'm just wanting to put this hydro sensor down here. That's not going to work, is it? I don't know. If we... C if there's various fluids in just these three tiles, and we pump heat into it and we get petroleum, it's going to end up up here, right? Hmm... Does petroleum float to the top? I think it does. I really don't want to need to reshape this. I wish you could just configure the liquid vent... <laughs> uh, pressure. No more meetings today, nice. I can't put in a... a valve, like here, can I? No. I really wish I hadn't made it in a shape where the dupes can't get in. We'll just remove this, I guess. It's volcano time? Yeah, that was... Maybe not the smartest thing. I need this to be... Always open. And then... Actually... Actually, we'll just connect this straight to here, right? 
Well, I guess it could be either. We can just invert it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It shouldn't be too much of a problem that we've got crude here, because it'll probably get flashed to petroleum anyway. Maybe this shape is fine, even. Maybe that would help prevent the overpressure problem? I don't know. I'm very skeptical. Cavern, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Row to you too. All right, what's this pressure? It's already at 800. So we're going to say below 500, and by that I mean above 500 because it's going through a knot gate. Actually, I'll just set this really low for the moment. And then we'll try this again. Should probably sweep up this igneous rock. Alright, here comes our heat. So the only problem left is that this is getting over pressure. I hope, I just hope measuring the pressure one tile above it is enough to say whether or not we should let more crude out through this uh, out through this pipe. If some of it has popped up here without even being heated up, then I, I should certainly hope so. And we might want to put another tile here. I actually kind of want to see how it goes without it. If only so it's easy for the tubes to do maintenance here. Alright, 240 degrees. Losing heat to the steam room. This is fine. Density of the magma is kind of high. Almost two kilograms per tile. How's our food? Oh, scary. That's kind of scary. Uh, did I have to do something? No, I already saved it. Alright. Let's get rid of these old pipes. And I was supposed to put a ladder over here so that we can reach that one piece of pipe. So where's the hottest crude oil? Um, it seems like all of it over here is about the same temperature. Didn't reconnect this yet, that's fine. Printing time? Uh, 
definitely we definitely don't need more mouths to feed for the moment. Food's getting a bit scary. Um, we've got plenty of hatchling eggs. Let's get some meat. Three forty-five. So, how are our plants doing? It still says pressure. Which is probably because carbon dioxide, still. We've got vents on either side of it, but they're just not falling out. Did the oil room change while we were not looking? Uh, change in what way? This room? Glacier Wolf? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. There's our petroleum. And... As soon as this oil turns to petroleum... Uh, well, actually, why is it doing this little dance of... Of... Uh, little vacuum dance. It does seem to be preventing more crude oil coming in, so that's good. Hurry up and flash the rest of this to crude oil. Never mind? Uh, okay. Yeah, it looks like once this is actually crew, uh, petroleum, we maybe don't need a tile here. Maybe. And it should happen in about six or seven degrees. 398. 300. Uh, we've opened the door. Ruh-roh. Ruh -row. Uh, special occasion. Can we let a little bit more heat in? Why did that just turn to crude? What? 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 Okay. And then? Okay, finally. It's all petroleum now. Set that back to how it was, and... Uh... Do we want to put a tile up here? I think we do. I don't know. Let's try this and just see if crude oil never ends up up here. So we're going to connect um, just like that once more. And we'll tweak this stuff. Once that gets low pressure, we'll let more crude in. I might have to tweak it a little bit, but that seems fine. And this one might have to change also. We shall see. Uh, I definitely want, like... The more I think about it, I definitely want, like, a little pool of petroleum here. That won't flow back this way. On second thought, uh, if we've got petroleum here, we're cooling this, it's going to be cooling this. That might not be so great, actually. Alright, what's our pressure here? 700, 400, 400. Alright, seems good. Uh, 
I don't think we necessarily need this one. This uh, particular sensor. So I can make it send green if below zero. And how much do we have here? 0.3 kilogram, that's nothing. So stop this if above 250, that could maybe be like 500. Stop this if above one kilogram, which we're not. Um, yeah, no, that should be fine. What's our temperature here? 392. Yikes. If we had a bigger pool of petroleum... Uh, it'd be more thermal mass to cool, but there'd be more conductivity with it. Hmm. It's really taking its sweet time. I definitely want to swap this in for a Thermo Aqua Tuna. Once we have a coolant that will work, which I think petroleum will. Petroleum liquid. Goes to sour gas at 538. And solid at negative 57. On second thought, maybe I want to wait for super coolant to put a fluid, uh, a liquid in here. What temp is it? Uh, the, th the petroleum up here? 384 still. Oh, and I can set this again now. Green when below 25 degrees. There we go. And... Should we, could we let a bit more crude oil in. I'm thinking probably yes, because I want this to be able to blow over here. We need to start creeping this upward carefully. Uh, so currently we're at 730. Let's try 750. It's going to, like, turn it on and off. What kind of pressure are we getting? 730, 700, 663. That seems okay. Max te uh, pressure I've seen for crude oil down here is, like... Oh, 900. That's not... That's not as low as I thought it would be. Nevertheless, didn't we just have like 800 or so when this thing cracked? And we are getting petroleum coming up here, so that should be fine, actually. Yeah. Oh, that looks good. That... That actually looks like it's behaving very, very well. Or maybe I should have put a hydro sensor here. Like, nah. I don't think your cooling loop is doing anything. It is doing something, it's just slow. Otherwise, we wouldn't have got down to 385 in the first place. 384. And have we stopped? We have not stopped. 
Six, seven hundred. We're not getting... We're not getting more pressure up here. But we're getting more pressure down here, and it's getting dangerously high. Uh, thanks, I hate it. I do wish we could put sensors on top of each other or something. <sighs> I think I need to widen this. Just so we can have, like, a pressure sensor down here. I think it's going to crack. Yeah, I, I think I'll just let it run, see what happens, and we'll save. Uh, we'll load the game and change this a bit. I think we're going to make the whole thing a bit bigger. Unfortunately, that's a lot to do at this point. Twelve hundred kilograms crude oil, because we're measuring the pressure here, and it's not flashing to petroleum. And it just keeps going up. Why you gotta be this way? Now we've got... No, it just dropped below 750. Oh, this one. This one to the rescue. And surprisingly, it didn't break. And we're down to 870 kilograms. But what if we didn't have heat here? What if there was no magma when we were bringing this in? I think we would have end up, ended up with two tiles. A, a tile or two of ludicrous oil pressure. And a bunch of tiles of petroleum up here. Instead of this getting like pushed up this way. Which you'd certainly think it would. Well, it's actually... I think overall it's actually cooling faster now because of all this uh, conductivity. Now the max heat can pump is 275C hot stuff. Nani? be honest, it should just pump the 400c petrol into a liquid tank since they seem bugged with exchanging heat, or a tank in a vacuum to be less bug abusing. Yeah, it is in a vacuum. Um, but yeah, I, I think it's definitely a better idea to make this bigger. Here we go, pressure explosion, 1300, and 500 of it just went up. Hmm. How do we have 138 kilograms up here now? When I set this thing to shut, shut the liquid vent if we've got more than one kilogram on this tile. When does this thing stop erupting? I think it's done, actually. I think we're going to have problems when we run out of heat to add to it. 360 degrees. It's going to take a while to cool off. Only got steel? Yeah. Yeah, I can't make a pump that doesn't care if it's in 400 something degree liquid. So now we've got no heat coming in. Well, soon we won't.
Hmm. So eventually this is going to cool. And we're going to drop our petroleum down here. And then... This is going to flow here. Pressure's going to drop. Probably going to put more crude in. I worry that we don't have a hydro sensor in a place where it's going to stop the crude oil from overpressurizing. I think that I see what I was reading wrong. I think I should swap these two, actually. Like, I, it's probably not that detrimental to have the temperature sensor up here, right? They're pretty much the same temp. So, if the liquid vent... can't output when this is at 1,000, and the bottom tile stops at 1,000, we should end up with the inability to overpressurize the crude oil, right? Is this just for converting oil to petroleum? Yes. Yeah, I'm thinking I should just swap where the liquid vent and the thermo sensor are. I think that's worth the trouble. Alright, we're gonna load one more time. Let's go. Oh, that's a lot of autosave since then. The crude turning petrol will rise up since you had excess crude already and petrol forces itself up, but you'd need to regulate the vent on the bottom. Yeah, I'm surprised we can go to a thousand without a pressure problem with the crude oil. So if we just put the, uh, if we just swap these two, uh, let's make sure we're not opening the door just yet. If we just swap these two and put the liquid vent down at the bottom, the liquid vent itself uh, is going to regulate the crude oil pressure. Because above we're only going to have lower pressure. And then... Deep on this. Uh, I kind of need to continue having a green signal for the door while we work on this. So I'm going to decon the liquid vent first. I'm going to copy the uh, the thermo sensor up here and then I'm going to remove this thermo sensor. Tumbling satellite. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I see London. I see France. I see magma in the base. Indeed. Alright, thermo sensor up here. And we'll link it like that for now. We're going to have to connect it this way because this wire is going to have to go here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just put it like that so I can cut. No, 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 no. Nope. All right. Is that a magma-powered petroleum boiler? It will be. I mean, it it is, but it isn't. It it has, it's had problems. Uh, it's had unforeseen consequences, but we're fixing it. Okay. And one more. And. Fantastic, so now we can copy settings and disconnect this because this is going to be where we put our liquid vent. And hopefully that is... Now that I think of it, I'm hoping we just don't need any hydro sensors. 
if this is going to be how we regulate um, crude oil coming in, should we make it out of steel? No, it's only going to like 400. This doesn't have an overheat temperature, it would have to literally melt. Okay, so crude oil is going there. Uh, yes, the unforeseen consequences. It's probably not a problem. Probably. I would literally... <laughs> Thank you, Tumbling. <laughs> and... He couldn't build it as well, Larius. Don't give me that I don't have construction skills excuse. You don't know until you try. Yeah, so we're going to measure temperature from here instead of from here. And the liquid vent should be all of the pressure regulation that we need. If it's on the bottom tile, we hope. Um, in which case... We should be able to ignore these uh, bits of automation. You know what? Since I'm about to, like... Just reload the game if this doesn't work anyway. I really want to get this stuff out of here while the dupes still have access. Hurry up before all the heat is gone. No, don't go to bed. Now is not the time. Uh, it's going to stop at a thousand, right? R right? Right... Oh no. Oh no. Why is... why is oil like this? You don't get to sing modern English lyrics to him? Wait, what? West dude? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Sleeping time, indeed. Who says they get to sleep? You know, I've got plenty of idle hands at this point. I should probably put half of them on... ...night duty. Then again, they wouldn't socialize as much. How could Hex not have heard modern English? Melt with you song? Melt with you song. Melt with you son. Maybe I should have kept the hydro sensor actually. Uh I kinda wanna find out though. Did this not get marked for decon? Bruh. I kinda wanna find out if we can do it without a hydro sensor. If we just set everything up else up properly. Now, sweep the rest away, except for this igneous rock, because that's going to turn into a tile again. Of course, they can't carry more than one type of thing at once. Apparently, they can't carry a whole lot of steel either. Don't... No, I said don't pick up the igneous rock. What is wrong with you? Uh tubes. You can wait. Uh, wait, what? You can. You would just need a bigger setup. I see. Maybe drop an element sensor above the temp sensor and not oil? Yeah, that might be a good idea. Would we get oil all the way up? No, I think we'd have to... I guess I could put element sensor here and temp sensor here. So we're putting the temp sensor even further away from the conductive tile. But the liquid seems to exchange temperature more than fast enough to equalize. So it's probably fine. 
But let's see if this works. And if not too bad, too sad, we will load again. I think you need to test this with the heat logic on, indeed. Alright. So what are we at? According to temp sensor, 141. It does take a while uh, to heat up, which is what we want with our obsidian tile. Normally, I wouldn't like to have crude oil up here to get the whole thing started, but it's probably fine. There is a way to use the boiler to preheat the oil as it comes out of it. Oh, wouldn't the pipes... Didn't we try heating up crude oil, like... I'm pretty sure I tried heating up crude oil by using a metal refinery, deliberately, uh, and the pipes exploded or something. I don't think it likes changing state, even from liquid to liquid. If it's in the pipes, that is. Pipes break. Indeed. It is unfortunate that they do. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, weren't there some little tweaks I made to food processing? Oh, they're, they're all growing. We're saved. Cool, cool, cool. I thought I would have to put another airflow tile here. Pressure doesn't seem to be as much of a problem now. Another farm would be good. Where would I even put it right now? Hmm. Don't really want to print anything at the moment. Oh, it's all crude oil. Really? I guess that's one way to do it. Isn't this going to cause massive problems when... We're going to find out. We're going to do the science. So we are... We're going to have like... 900 or 1000 kilos of crude oil per tile in here. I... I did not foresee saturating the entire thing by putting the liquid vent at the bottom. Uh, I thought... I thought we would just reach max pressure down here and end up with, like, brood oil up to here-ish. But... Look, if it works and we don't get... Tiles cracking from pressure? I don't care. In fact, all the better, because the simpler, more elegant solution is better. It's more robust. WTF, it shouldn't be outputting anymore? Yeah, this is always like 900 kilograms here. It's never getting to a thousand. And we just keep pushing more crude oil up somehow. Because gravity be damned, I guess? I think it might stop when every tile is 1k, yeah. Which, uh, you know what? This might be even better than the design I tried to make, because the thermal mass of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10 tiles of crude oil at 1,000 kilograms each is much, much higher. Uh, which means we're going to get a much more accurate, controlled 
uh, overheating process to turn it into petroleum. I just hope, like, one of these tiles turns into petroleum on the spot, as opposed to, like, it thinks it has to go somewhere else and it, like, pops out through the wall or something. We're gonna find out. It's only at 178 degrees at this point. This is gonna take a while to test. Maybe even another eruption. So if it's gonna work like this, the thermosensor really could be anywhere, because it's pretty much all the exact same temp. It should turn on the spot since the entire tile will heat up all at once. Indeed. Sloda, Simply Coco, Albion Lion, if I didn't say so. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so yeah, we need 400 degrees, we're at 182. It's, n it's now agonizingly slow. That's good once we actually get there, we don't want to overshoot the temperature by too much. Or very much at all. But yeah, that's going to be a whole process now. Let's focus on something else for a bit. What should we do? The copper... Uh, the copper volcano seems like a good idea. Uh, I need to double check again the volume that we should expect. 12.4 kilograms per second. Uh, 33 seconds. So 12.4... Oops. Times 33 is 409.2 every 761 seconds. These guys are about the same. As in the iron volcanoes are about the same as each other. 8 times 56. I think that was the same-ish. 7.9 times 56. 442. Okay, so once again, we shouldn't need a very big, uh, like, bucket to avoid wasting any of the output. Even if we consume the heat slowly. Uh... Yeah, this is probably more than enough. I think I already calculated it. So then... This might be a more convenient place for a, for a petroleum boiler, since it's right next to the oil biome, but oh well. Uh, we're going to want a steam room in here, and steam turbines up here. And where am I going to put our doors? Hurry up. Obviously this one goes here. Uh, and I think I wanted to... Oh yeah, we were going to move this over a bit. Wait, were we? No, 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 no. No, this does go here. That was just to drain the water. I wish I could I wish I could put something down as priority zero. So it's just we're just like designing it for later. Uh, but yeah, I think I want to put this up here so we don't have the water coming down this way in the steam room this time. So steam door here. Uh how many steam turbines do we need? Two should be overkill, probably. Now, uh, 
steam. May as well make it out of iron. If that's one, two, three, this one needs to go here. And that needs to extend out this way. And we'll have... I think we'll, we'll use obsidian tiles for the conductive tiles. That should be fine. I think I would like to... have the door up here. So if we need to make a change to it for some reason, uh, that's going to be easier. And then we're going to have insulated tiles here. We're going to need some ladders to facilitate this. And I'm going to need some coolant, uh, some kind of cooling loop for the steam turbines. I don't really want to run our coolant loop of polluted water all the way down here. Speaking of which, have we avoided... Oh, I can get rid of this now. I hope we have avoided getting oxygen into the hydrogen loop from now on. Hydrogen doesn't seem to be moving around all that fast. It's probably got something to do with the filter that I added here. Oh yeah, it definitely does. I think. Maybe I should have a container that the loop goes through. Well, we never needed it before. I guess I could bring our hydrogen loop all the way down just to cool... It's actually not that far. Hmm. Yeah, it's really not that far at all, actually. I could just... bring it down this way. And that makes it easy to cool the steam turbines, since we're not worried about liquid pipes. Okay. I could even have it, like, run by the Thermo Aquatuna twice. Kind of already going to do that a little bit. We don't have to keep them that cool, just, uh, just cool enough so they never reach like a hundred degrees. And may as you, may as use, uh, actually gold amalgam should be fine for this. I can always expand it a little bit if that's not enough radiant pipe. It's not that far, he says, as he's boiling more... Boiling more spaghettis? Wait, what? Holy spaghetti, these gas pipes? What do you mean? Look at... Look at how neat they are. Beautiful main bus. Well, okay, this bit through the middle was... Kind of hacked in, but uh, broadly speaking, the whole main bus for fluids idea has has worked. I maybe could have done them a little bit further apart, I suppose. I think next time I'm definitely grabbing that mod that lets us have longer, longer bridges. Can't keep up 
settling around 20? What? My thermo can't keep up anymore with three oxygen pipes pumped through. Having built the box out of metal tiles to keep the surrounding cool for whatever dumb reason? What do you mean, what do I mean? Holy cow, my dude is making buses in any game? Of course. Bus simulator go brr. Alright. Uh, surely enough, we have 960 kilograms of crude oil on almost every tile here. A thousand down here. And we actually need to... We, we actually need to wait for the next eruption. We only got it up to 220. Oh no. If this goes badly, we're gonna... Maybe I'll just try and fix it instead of loading a save. Depends what happens. I simulated go spaghetti-o? But I minimized the spaghetti. I did. I wish they would... Oh, wait, I didn't even remember to remove that. Uh, I should probably put in a power transformer already. Pretty sure we only need a small one. wire. It's going to go through where the uh, where the airlocks are going to be. I can move this over a tile. Why not? Why not? The ultimate meta would be for you to play a game where you build an actual bus, indeed. I'm sure we could do it in KSP. What's what's an engineering game where you build vehicles? Is there such a thing in detail? Oh wait, uh, I should probably make this out of ceramic. And is this one ceramic? It should be. Is this one ceramic? Uh, that's igneous rock. I think we should probably swap that one out. I don't think the corner one needs to be able to withstand the liquid, but just to be safe. Why do we have crude in here? How do we have crude in here? What... What? I just played the hell out of KSP, indeed. I might do the same, depending on... I mean, I fully expect it to be a, a good long while before... We should be playing KSP2, unfortunately. Kind of, I kind of want to play with Kerbal Operating System again. You know... We could probably take raw copper, dump it in here, and let it melt into refined copper, right? Hell yeah, KOS is awesome, despite the fact I can't get it to do what I want. Little by little. Practice, practice. I'd be interested to see if I would be able to... 
to finish my project for the uh, fly-by-wire system that I was working on years ago. 8.8 8 cycles. Oh, man. Also, I should move this so that it's actually relevant more than once. And we can have it tell us when it's when it's magma time every time. Now we can copy settings. Copy settings. Above zero kilograms. Yeah, that's actually right. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, so now we can remove this. Remove this. Give us back that hot steel. Is this thing set to igneous rock only? Yeah, it is. The steel would be a lot cooler if it was in the steam room. So, uh, why don't we grab it? Wait, why does... Why does it think there's no steel available? What? Can it not grab it from the from the magma? Shouldn't it? Shouldn't we be able to tell it anything? What? Why can't I say pick up steel? Bruh. We clearly have steel. Why are you like this? Now, now we have to have the dupes pick up 1400 degree steel. And refined... Oh, great. I changed my mind too late. Refined carbon, where does that go? Miscellaneous? No. Uh, industrial ingredient, I think it is. There it is. Refined carbon. No. Manufactured? No. It'd be great if there was a search feature for this. Just saying. Just saying. I guess I'll just have them sweep up this insanely hot material. It is not refined metal, it's manufact... Oh, bloody hell. Refined carbon is consumable ore, really. Alright. Let's try this. Consumable ore. Refined carbon. Uh, it's gonna have to wait till there's a, like, vacancy to pick it up. Hmm. I think we're transferring heat from the solids too slowly. Let's do something about that, shall we? And I guess over here, that's kind of expensive. But what are you going to do? What are you going to do? I guess I could make it out of iron instead. That should be fine, actually. Oh. Gold amalgam? Regular iron? It's only the uh, overheat, uh, the melting temperature that matters for these, right? So as long as it's... As long as it's better than hot magma... I mean, it doesn't even have to be that tough. It should be fine. I think. I run. I run ore solid. Liquid at 1534 degrees. This goes to 1792. Uh, the solid is 1380. Igneous rock. Igneous rock. Uh, it can 
it melts at 1409. Hmm. Iron ore. Melts at 1534. Yeah, yeah, so if we're picking up solid igneous rock, it has to be... It has to be cool enough. For iron conveyor rails, right? Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Alright. 7.6 cycles until we see this thing maybe working. How's our build down here looking? Super slow. Yikes. Um, then we're going to need a gas pump to get rid of everything in here. Oh, I actually want this to go here. What's the melting point of lead again? Lead... Solid... at 327. So the... Oh yeah, no, I think this part at least should be steel. I remember we had some problems. Should be okay. Easy to fix if not. Is this made of steel? It is. Well, it actually, it's not going to need to be. At the point where we are emptying this room of gas, things are going to be relatively chill in every sense of the word. run this down here, I guess. We probably don't need to power the uh, mechanized airlock since the, the obsidian tiles are going to transfer heat a bit more slowly. But I think it'll probably still be more than enough heat throughput overall. Since we see uh, we see our steam turbines up here idle most of the time. That shouldn't be much of an issue. Now we're, now we're transferring heat to the steam room a lot faster. That's more like it. Oh, cool, cool. All right. When are you planning to have a go at space stuff? When I get to it. That's how that works. All right, this will be igneous rock, I think. Yeah, that should be fine. And I guess this will go here. We don't need to have a terribly big steam room, do we? We do need to get some water down here somehow. Still base game or spaced out DLC? Just the base game. I figure I have another 10,000 hours before I run out of base game. I could be wrong. Oh, wait, we need to build this door. Why they haven't done that yet is beyond me. 
so we're not going to need power cables for that, but we are going to need automation wire. And the automation wire is going to be connected to a temperature sensor nice and close to the steam turbines. About here should be fine. Thermo sensor. Uh, and we'll probably run it to the steam turbines as well, right? So we're basically just going to run the steam turbines when temp is above 200. Uh, do we need a not gate? We do not because the door open is the don't let the heat in state. What are these two? Current ambient temperature. Oh, a latch. Do we want to do that? Yeah, probably. Let's do that again. It's actually really, really easy with a memory toggle. Uh, so where do I want to put this? Probably like here. Where's the output? Set, reset, output. Okay, so like here. I could always put this down here so we could put like as many... I don't think we really need any thermo aqua tuners down here. Unless we want to have one in here to keep these cool. And recycle most of the energy. Yeah, no, I think we'll do it something like that. And... Another thermo sensor here? This one wouldn't have to be so close to the uh, the steam turbines. In fact, we could probably put these sen uh, temperature sensors right next door to it. And... And then we just have the inverse setting over here. But it's not actually the inverse because the door conveniently sort of has the opposite effect. Okay, that should be all the automation we need there. And of course we'll want to somewhat cool the copper. I could just drop it in the oil. That's going to make a bunch of random petroleum. Except for the unchanged dupe trying to murder themselves. Wait, what? Game is kind of completely different in how you approach it with DLC, so it'll be a completely new experience. Fantastic. How much steel do we have? A bit. That's not too bad. That is not so bad. I think next playthrough, just for convenience, I think I would use the, uh, the mod that makes regular airlocks block gas and liquid as well. It's kind of a quality of life thing. Plastic, why not? When does this erupt? 5.7 cycles? Oh man. I'm 
guessing the auto sweeper will pick up more igneous rock before the refined carbon. Also, is this thing here going to just stop one day? Like, when we have too much igneous rock on one tile? That would be unfortunate. Especially considering we've got all this heat energy that we're not turning into electricity. Hmm. Speaking of which, we could increase the exposure. Well, let's see. How about... How about... Something... Like this? That looks good to me. And then we can have considerably more... How is... Wait, what? Conveyor shut off. Oh, the conveyor shut off is... Wait, what? Oh, we don't need a conveyor shut off anymore. What is this even doing here? It's not making that big of an impact right now, but still. Yeah, it looks like it isn't going to pick up the refined carbon unless I temporarily tell it not to pick up igneous rock. There we go. Oh, it dropped all of the igneous rock into the magma. Whoops. It's fine. And then it picked it all up in one go. Okay, then. Alright, so we can get rid of the conveyor shutoff, right? No reason to bother with that one anymore. Since we're using the conveyor chute to control that. And now we've got a lot more heat throughput from the solids into the steam room. Nice. Alright, how's this build looking? Um, it's creeping along. I'd really like to be able to put in... Uh, to, to start taking the gas out. Oh. We probably don't want this heat escaping down here, do we? That might be bad. Pretty sure igneous rock would be fine here. Um, I guess just do it this way for now. Don't think that's a thing, at least not without the weight plate thingy. Weight plate thingy? Oh, yeah, no, I don't mean deliberately. I mean... Is this all I have to do to have an infinite storage of igneous rock? Or will the conveyor chute stop dropping stuff out at some point? think we need that knot gate anymore, do we? And this is going to have to be connected. There we go. Look at it go. Don't pop out into the door. Don't pop out into the... Ah. Oh. I wonder if we'll be able to pick this up one day. <laughs> A 
Actually, let's do what I was trying to do before. Drop the igneous rock again. So apparently it's not under refined metal. That's kind of inconvenient. And... Is it not going to pick this up? It's because a dupe is dibs did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that works. That works. Now, why are you not picking up the igneous rock? Did I click the wrong thing? It's entirely possible. There we go. Yeah, we're getting a lot more heat throughput into our steam turbines now. Very good. Are we ever going to build this? Unreachable? What do you mean? It. They should be able to reach it from this ladder. Unreachable dig? What dig? There's no dig here. Why are you like this? Mechanized airlock, steel, go. Priority, construction, yes. I was muted. One job. All right, steel goes here and here. Priority, yes, indeed. All right, I'm just gonna avert my eyes from there. 3.8 cycles until we find out how good our crude oil, how good our petroleum boiler is. Where does this steel pop out when the door shuts? Uh, I don't see it anywhere. Hmm. Technically, we probably don't need these two insulated tiles, right? Because this is vacuum? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think we actually need these two insulated tiles. Although, I think I'd prefer to put them back afterwards anyway. So, if we decon this, we should be able to pick up our steel when that door opens, I hope. Why are the steam turbines disabled? Oh, because of the latch. Well, that makes sense, I guess. Waiting for temperature in the uh, steam temp above 210. Fair enough. And this part's actually done, which means we can get this part done. Suppress current. I don't care if that door opens quickly or not. Alright, we're almost ready to start removing the gas from this room. That looks very different to the steel. But as long as it has the throughput to get all of the heat out of this room into the steam room... It's fine. Alright. 
Actually, can you do this one first? So you don't have to go through the airlock? At least not as many times. Fantastic. Hydrogen loop is moving faster. It doesn't have to move super fast. This is okay, I think. Oh, hey, one advantage of filling this with crude oil, if this works, is we can set this to what we want it to be set to right from the beginning. Cool, cool, cool. And there's that steel. Give it back. Give it back. Two point eight cycles until eruption. We work on building our luxury homes a bit more. I could just mop this up now, right? Printing time. Uh, Hatchling, why not? Oh. Wait, what? We need to go sweep only, don't we? Uh... Good job, tubes. I'm surprised how often and how long I'm seeing these steam turbines running. I know we're working from a backlog of hot uh, igneous rock. But even so. Maybe I could have a little cool room for the igneous rock to come out over here. Maybe that would actually be far easier than I anticipated. I'd have to have like another airlock over here. Why don't why don't we have any insulated doors? That's a mod I should probably look out for. I don't like needing to do vacuum sealed rooms just to keep heat in at a reasonable rate. Oh hey, we can rebuild this now. Fantastic. That looks a bit less sketchy, I think. Also, oh, god damn it. Don't walk all the way down here and half pick up something and stop what you're doing because the bell rings. Why are you like this? Why are you like this? This is all made of obsidian. Good, good. And that is steel. Yes, it is. And this needs to become vacuum. Might grab some water.
It'd be nice if you could get the notification speaker to... On one speaker, have some... Have a notification when it stops receiving a green. Obviously, you could add a bit of circuitry to do that. Pretty sure you just need a knock gate, actually. And, of course, a second automated notifier. Maybe I should be taking this opportunity to design a cold room. Ooh. Why don't I just make the cold room the steam turbine room? Uh. Well. Okay, if we're going to do some active cooling anyway. We could just make this, like, room temperature at, like, 25 degrees using a thermo aqua tuner. And we could dump the refined copper up here once we're ready. Hmm. That's definitely more energy, like, because we're... We're actively cooling this heat more than we really need to. It's definitely more energy than we arguably need to spend. If we're energy rich, I think it sounds like a great idea. Get a bit more functionality in one place. Uh, yeah, I'm... Earlier on, I'm finding that a bit questionable. What's the temp in here already? It's only 20 degrees. Uh, what's the gas temp? 26? 25? We're kind of already cooling it that much. Well, that's using the, the main coolant loop. Oh yeah, how's our water? We had trouble with that. I probably should pay more attention to that. We do have some coming in, and I think we have for a while. Um, it is terrifyingly low, actually. I think we stopped taking in warm water from here. Uh, I need to take in more water, but it's going to cook things, and we're not going to grow food. What temper... We're actually down to 20 degrees here. We might be able to handle it. I certainly hope so. We do have a bit of cool water. Oh, well, that's 34 degrees. That's not that cool. Um, in fact, this is 33 degrees. We got Tropical Paco in here. Hmm. Yeah, we actually don't have any really cool water left. It's all above the temp that the plants grow at. Didn't you have a slush geyser or something? I do. It is active at the moment. Uh, erupts again in 0.4 cycles. It's just not enough by itself. We're also getting oxygen out of it because I'm letting the uh, the polluted water off gas and then we turn it into oxygen up here. Very handy. All right. Where it's almost eruption time. Find out if our petroleum build works. I'm terrified, not gonna lie. We're also bringing a bunch of heat in. What the hell? What? What the? What? Uh. Apparently we do. 
need a robo miner. I I did leave some room for it. Oh, it doesn't need to be steel. We could make it out of iron. Uh, apparently we do need a robo miner here. And over here, that's our notification, I think. What? What are you? No, stop. What? Okay. Uh, it's gonna be pretty trivial to add this back in. For the most part, I need to remove that piece of pipe, unfortunately. Which means I have to make the loop stop working for a bit. Uh, igneous rock. Is it going to melt when it drops down here? 2000 degrees. I think it is. Uh, well, we already ended up with a bit of magma over here. What's the harm, I guess? Oh, no. Pity we can't catch it. Um, but yeah, we need to put another conduction panel over here so that we can keep the Robo Miner cool in the vacuum. And... Where was it? I should have put a bridge in place of it. Well, I would have had to drop the bridge on the floor as well. And where's our... Did I never install the conduction panels here? Oh, no. Uh... Auto sweeper. Temperature, 175. It is slowly getting up there. Okay, then. I need to be careful about where I run the coolant through. Because if I ran it through this airlock door, it would boil. Alright, I think... I think the play is fairly obvious. We're going to bring it through here. And out up here. And which way is it going? Down. So like counterclockwise. Uh, where's our conduction panel? It's going to go this way, it's going to go this way, and it's going to go this way. That should be sufficient. And once that's built, we'll just connect them up. Actually, it sh should be fine to connect these like so already. Uh, our notification kind of... I vaguely remember it trying to drag the screen, but I didn't hear it go ding. Door is closed. Kyle is getting hot. We are up to... A whopping 225 degrees Celsius for our crude oil. So presumably... Presumably this tile, if not this tile, is going to turn into petroleum first. There's no room for... I, I wouldn't expect a tile of vacuum to somehow appear. I certainly hope it doesn't. Because... Because if a tile of vacuum appears here, we're going to get a whole lot of crude oil pumped in. And I think we're going to end up with a pressure explosion. I certainly hope it behaves. We can print some food. That is good. We're kind of low. Food's still growing well. Uh, not the meal would, I guess. I think I'd like to... 
It's going to be a slight nuisance, but I think I would like to put another farm right about here. We need to make another... Whatchamacallit. Great hall. Let's just slap one together, I guess. It's pretty easy to build, after all. How big can it be? Pretty big, right? Pretty sure. Have we had only five mess tables this entire time? Oh, no. Oh, no. And some hanging pots. That'll do for the moment. We need to move some of these pipes a bit. Um, basically, I want hydroponic farms here. That's actually not even in the way yet. Not directly. Should probably be careful about what I'm deconstructing here. So we'll do the back walls last, I think. Probably nothing, actually. I can just, uh, have water go this way. Easy enough. And then we need some wire through here. Whoa, okay, okay, okay. And we'll deke on that when we can. Ceiling lights are here. This is going to make us need even more water. But I'd rather be less stressed about food. that. How's our petroleum boiler going? 285 degrees. Fantastic. Toilet out of order? Ruh-roh. Why? 
Why would this happen? Oh. Of course. Of course. Okay. Why is... Oh, I remember. We didn't get this done. I would have probably given it attention with a bit more urgency if, uh... If I'd realized that our coolant loop also stops the duplicants from going to the bathroom if we break it. Alright. Where's the other one? That one is... creeping towards completion. Actually, why don't we make that iron? Since it's readily available. In fact, why don't I make a whole lot of that iron, since it should definitely be enough. And... It's much more easily attained. Oh, here we go. our pipes. What are you doing? Why do we see some of the poker shells all red? Is that when they're angry? It's because there's an egg here. Yeah, that might be it. Ding 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 lunchtime? No lunchtime. Only work. What do we got? 315 degrees. It's getting there. Maybe I should put a notification on that. You're just idle, right? You're not trapped? Finding safer area. What do you mean? Sopping wet. Idle. Why are you sopping wet? Uh, duplicants. Oh, we only needed like one steam turbine. Or, or do we? We'll see. Steam turbines are cheap anyway. But if it's not running all the time... Oh, we don't have latch behavior on this one. Uh, yeah, I want to update this, actually. Oh, screw it. Let's just get this part working first. Looks like it already is. Fantastic. And now our volcano works again. Very good. How's our copper build going? Ooh. It's... It's pretty much complete. There's like two pieces of automation wire not finished. Cool, cool, cool. Can we turn on the gas pump? Oh, you're joking. I forgot to not build this airlock... Whoopsie daisy. In fact, I should probably cut off the power until until they get rid of that. Whoopsie. Oh, I never realized we have that shortcut there. Huh. It's a little bit handy. Um, but yeah, we should definitely put the latch behavior into the new builds. I just realized I'm going to need a coolant loop. Oh no. 
Oh no, I'm gonna need a liquid coolant loop for the um for the items that are gonna be in the vacuum here near the ceiling. That's not gonna need to be water. Uh, sorry, liquid. I'm definitely not running the main coolant loop all the way down here. So what do? I only need it to... I could use this crude oil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I only need it to stay below like 275 degrees, right? So if we go for... Robo Miner, like so. Does that have full coverage? Yeah, it does. Uh, Robo Miner, Auto Sweeper. Iron should be fine. And conveyor loader. Uh, where am I going to put it? About here? I think I'd rather put it... Can I put these over here? Sweeper. Loader. And Robo Miner, which would mean induction panels. Here, here, and here. And we only need the crude oil to... Equalize with the steam room. Bring it down to 200. Maybe I should make that. Oh, I can't really. That has to sort of S bend. Yeah, 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 that's fine. Alright, so this will go like. Here-ish. And this will go like here-ish. And maybe regular liquid pipe will be enough. Maybe we'll need some radiant. Uh... Could maybe get some more coverage. Whoops. Whoops. So, something like that. Yeah, we might need some radiant pipe. In fact, refined metal is cheap. Uh, certainly iron is. Let's just go for that. So we just need to let a bit of crude in this way to get things started. And I'm pretty sure we can just fill it up. It won't actually cause any problems. Okay, that's our airlock gone, so we can start draining the gas. And we're going to need... ...some power to connect these. And then, of course, there's the conveyors. Uh, hello, shipping. There we go. Conveyor rail. 
is going to go probably something like through here. You know what? You can follow the same path. Wait, wait, wait. Won't the... Won't the hot copper heat up the crude oil if I do that? Hmm, but I do want to use the heat from the hot copper. Snip Robominer power line? It's not connected to anything yet. I mean, I could have them follow different paths. In fact, I'm pretty sure we need almost nothing in terms of the liquid loop. Because these three machines are going to gain heat very, very, very slowly. Especially if these are radiant pipe, it should be fine. Okay. So then... Wait, what? That can go over there. And... This is probably fine. Convey a chute. Temp doesn't really matter. And we need a little tiny bit of automation. Uh, we need a conveyor rail thermo sensor. And we're not going to let anything drop out until it is below some temperature. Why is this disconnected? There we go. Didn't see pump is its own line, indeed. Yeah, that one's temporary. need to get this swept up. And what's up to holy crap. That's even worse than I imagined the worst case. What the f actual Uh, good thing there's a big body of water here. I, I definitely should have put a notification here so that we could see when this reached 400 degrees. Alright, I think we're gonna... It didn't mess anything else up at least. That's actually kind of really good. I think we're gonna, like, decon all of this and build something a bit more spacious. Okay, then. Does petroleum always... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like petroleum is always above crude oil. It always raises to the top, right? I can't find anywhere where that is not the case. So, oh, our food is scary. Let's copy settings from this. Should already be water. Can't see it, but yes, there is. And may as well... This room look nice. How 
Now why are these guys not growing? Body temp? Really? Really? Really, really? Maybe I should get another... Oh, wow. We've... Okay. Should probably stop conducting heat through that door. Let's flip this. Uh, what was I doing? What was I doing? Oh yeah, trying to figure out why this is so hot. Hmm. Uh, yeah, we're all, I was going to say we should maybe have a second Thermo Aqua Tuner over here to cool our, uh, our pee water, our coolant loop a bit more. But apparently we've already got two, so I don't know, maybe we should go for three? Can we even afford that? Current wattage 850. It's 1200, it's more than a steam turbine for a single Thermo Aqua Tuner. I'm actually kind of shocked this thing has been running so much. Wait, let's look at it as, at its uptime. 51%. So we don't need any more thermo aqua tuners here. Hmm. What do? I think water's getting a little better. That's that's something. Take the plastic. Um, but yeah, we should probably decon all of this mess and start from scratch, I guess. Let's do it in an order where the dupes are not going to get too confused. this. How did we get all this steam out of here? What hot is it? 170 degrees? Damn. I guess that makes sense, actually. Oh, our liquid pump is taking damage. Hurry up and leak on it. No, don't! Why are you like this? Almost finished deconstructing a liquid pump that's taking heat damage. Oh, it's cooled down. It's fine. Alright, did we finish this? Looks like we did. Fantastic. That looks good, actually. Hmm, there's no, there isn't a universe where we need another steam turbine here, is there? Might be. Yeah, you know what, that might be worth doing. Let's put another one here. Lead should be fine. We're going to have to expand. How am I going to get rid of this gas here? I think I, I think I know just what to do, actually. So we need another steam turbine here. We barely need to expand this. So this will go here. And then I'll put a tile here, and then a tile here, and then a tile here. 
We've already got access down this way if we need it. And that'll just push the gas out. I guess we could build this early. I don't see the harm in it. Does this thing not have automation? It does. Why is it, like, struggling sometimes? Oh, there is a reason not to build this yet. Let's give it some automation wire. And we'll have a bridge here. I won't build that just yet. Wait. They'll still be able to come down here after they build the steam turbine, right? Let's just drop its priority. That bleep bleep is driving me bleep bleep. Let's put in a memory toggle. And we'll do two temperature sensors as we've done before. Uh, and I'll change the way the... I think we'll just drop iron off here. Stop Stop bringing that heat into the base. We'll just deal with it being like 200 degrees when the duplicants pick it up. If I'm not going to make a cold room for it, I shouldn't uh, shouldn't drop it into the base. That's probably causing a bit too much heat. We'll just deal with it the same way we do the igneous rock for now. Let's see if this works. It might not. I imagine they might supply all of these. Or like, yeah, supply all of them and then... Well, this one should get supplied first. And then imagine there's no builder available and then this one gets supplied. And then two builders are assigned and then one, they race each other here and this one gets built first. Maybe? You exactly know they will not build them in your order? Oh no. Oh no. Food is looking okay, not great. Uh, don't even really see the bristle blossoms here. But it looks like they're growing, or at least some of them are. That's a start. We've got vacuum on one side. Fantastic. Is this thing ready? Uh, except for the gas, obviously. I think it might be. So this is going to be picking up we haven't seen refined copper yet. I guess that has to happen first. Where's that iron build? Here we go. And now we can just deke on these. Easiest way to keep the chlorine out. I thought I saw chlorine there, what the hell? That was scary. I I definitely saw green there, that was weird. 
So the graphics was still reporting chlorine, but there wasn't actually anything there. Alright, um... We could certainly build this out of not steel. And bring it up here. Perfect. Automation wire. Go like this. Get rid of this thing. Snippy snip these. And we'll put a output here. Do the steam turbines run with any gas? No, they don't. It has to be steam. Oops, forgot to snip that. Uh, and I wanted to put in some proper automation. Memory toggle. It's going to go about here. Actually, why not right between these two? That connects there if it doesn't already. And I don't think we need any automation on these ones. Oh! How's our copper build looking? Why do we have to scroll so slowly if we zoom out? Alright. Uh, reset is going to be 210. Set is going to be 200. No, it's the other way around, isn't it? Above 210, reset when below 200. After we reset, we get red signal. So we stop consuming steam when we drop down to 200, and we try to let heat in. That sounds about right. And the fact that that's green now... Uh, seems about right. Still waiting for the polluted oxygen to get sucked out. Think we can run our gas down here now? Should keep the steam turbines cool enough, I think. We're down to the milligrams of P oxygen. Why can't I? There we go. Alright, and we're going to need an output. Convey a shoot to be precise, and that should already have its automation. Uh, green signal if below, I don't know, 201 or something. Cool, cool, cool. And we can probably decon all of this. And we need to do the same thing over here. Um, that could definitely be made out of iron ore.
Yeah, that should be fine. Snip things. All right, how's that other build looking? Uh, I guess make more room for this water and bring ourselves access to. Some free poker shell mods, uh, malts. Seems like a good idea. Just don't get trapped by sand, please. All right, we can finally mop this up. That might be good too. Grab a bit of free water. We've got a lot of cool-ish salt water lying around. This is not so cool. Ooh, eight degrees. It's not much, though. Okay. We're down to the micrograms. 1300 micrograms, to be precise. Trapped by sand, that never happens. The dupes are too smart for that. This is a flat out lie. Zinda, good to see you again. You're welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. Do they still have path here? Yeah, they do. Otherwise, that wouldn't be white. And. Igneous rock here should be fine. Okay, so what's the big idea? We need to let crude oil in. We need to limit it by pressure. In fact, if anything, I want to make sure we hardly put any crude in. Uh, crude oil in at all. We could put a liquid vent here. A pressure sensor, hydro pressure sensor here. We will close the liquid vent if pressure greater than X. And then? And then petroleum is going to come out up here when it reaches 402 degrees or something. Uh, and then we need to cool it before we drop it onto uh, a pump. So, if we say here, don't pump in anything more if pressure greater than quite a small amount, then what's up here has to be petroleum, right? Pretty sure? I think I want to make this all accessible by the dupes this time. We definitely want the whole thing to be... Uh, vacuum. And I want 
a fairly large pool of petroleum so that when we add more heat to it, uh, the whole thing's not going to raise in temperature very much. And we'll put the pump like way over here. I wonder if we could put liquid magma in pipes. What would we what would we make them out of? Ceramic. Oh. Well there you go. That was easy. Magma at 1849 degrees. This comes out at 17 uh 1726. Oddly enough, we can't use it for coolant. It'll solidify. Hmm. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe I'm going about this all wrong. What if... Hmm. No, that won't work. I was thinking of using a steam room to cool the petroleum down to a chilly 200 degrees. So we're just... Instead of using a machine in a loop like this, we're taking the heat from the petroleum directly. But first it has to reach 400. And if I'm going to get it out of this little place... We would need a pump that can tolerate 400 degrees, which we don't have. We can go to 275, that's it. Hmm. If only I had some mechanism to... Well, to pump it... Can I somehow design some kind of mechanical pump? As opposed to the, like, electrical one made of steel. Good question. What if... Okay, if we're outputting crude oil here, and we stop when the pressure is greater than a small amount, well, a smallish amount, and we'll tweak it, I'm pretty sure petroleum, uh, I don't know actually, this is 740 kilograms. Well, from what I saw, the pressure of petroleum on any one tile was smaller than, that's a thousand, oh, that's pea water. Uh, was smaller than... I don't think I'm going to find a natural example. If I recall correctly, I never saw petroleum have more than like six or seven hundred kilograms per tile. Hmm... What if I did an element sensor and detected crude oil? As long as there's crude oil here, we stop pumping crude oil. And then maybe... limit petroleum flowing here as well. Door pump? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doors can take a lot. Well, I would need... The thing is, I need to pump it from a vacuum room to a non-vacuum room. I want to pump it from a place where we keep the heat in to where we steal all the heat. To heat up steam. Hmm. 
If if I had a coolant that can take it. Well, I do have petroleum a little bit. Gotta be really careful with the temperature ranges for it though. Petroleum liquid. If we keep it below 538 and above negative 57, that actually sounds pretty easy in this context. So what if we have... What if we have a vacuum for this whole room and once the petroleum drops over here, we have a liquid pipe loop? that runs through the steam room. Fill it with petroleum so that we have the widest possible temperature range. And we have a zero electricity coolant loop uh, that'll pump heat from this into the steam room down to 200 degrees, which means we can use our pump. That might be it. That might be all we need to do. Uh, and of course, we won't actually build our pump here until we've got petroleum. Like, a sizable amount that's down to a reasonable temperature. Like, well below 275 degrees. The iron, we only have to worry about melting temp. So, yeah. Nemzi, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And I could put, like, a door here that opens or closes based on the temperature, like, right here or something. Might not be the worst idea. Yeah, we could just... We could just limit the flow of the liquid vent for that, I think. All right, so so what do I want this to look like? I think we could get rid of the thermo radiator. I definitely want to get that hydrogen out of here, back into the loop. And not into the steam room. And away it goes. Easy enough. So then, radiant pipe. Oops. Uh, it's gonna go this way. That's probably way more than enough. It's fine, don't care. Insulate pipe down here. And... Radiant over here. So I'll have to put some petroleum into this pipe. Um, we do have a little bit... We've got like 136, just over 200 kilograms. Um, that we can put in via a bottle emptier. Knock that up first. We'll put a pump... Just any kind of pump. Right about here for now. Don't forget a bridge over here. Kind of convenient, we do need a bridge somewhere anyway. 
just to show you which way the liquid goes. Magma at only 668 degrees granite. That's actually... I'm sure we'll never get there in this build, but uh, that is relatively fragile. No, don't already have it built just this once. What did I even order to be deconstructed just now? There we go. Now why can't I build it? There we go. Okay. And we're going to want our output pump over here, I think. We probably don't need that much volume, but after the last few disasters, uh, I would prefer to overdo it as opposed to underdo it. Need some power down here. Then. All right, so what automation were we going to have here? A um, uh, element sensor. That's for pipes. Liquid element sensor. Don't tell me, I'm going to need a knock gate. So we're just going to say not crude oil. Uh, or I could just set it to petroleum, actually. Except that's not going to get it started at the very beginning. That's fine, actually. Alright. We'll need to set this to... To what? I want my pump to be here, actually. How much bigger do I need to... Now, I feel like when we need petroleum, we're going to want a lot of it all of a sudden, right? Let's maybe make this a bit bigger. getting close to this build. Might want our ladders to go down here instead. How's our copper going? We got vacuum. Fantastic. Be gone. All of that. This stuff doesn't draw power when it's not... No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. We're not ready. No, no. I forgot. I'm sorry. Okay. 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 Also, sweep this up. Actually, I could... Probably... Just disconnect the... Robo Miner for now. And... Sweep everything. Get that stuff out of here. What the heck is that noise? 
What? What are you... What? Going to eat, sopping wet... Lashing out? Oh, for fuck's sake. Now what? You're throwing tantrums now? What happened to everyone's morale? Don't tell me they didn't build the, the mess hall. Miscellaneous room. Maximum tile 64. Uh... 16 by 4. Wait, does that mean we can't fit enough mess tables? Great Hall is the biggest one, right? Max size 120. Decor item. No industrial machinery. Mess table. Recreational building. Does the water cooler not count? It is. Effects. Recreation. Missing decor. I so it's because they haven't put a plant in here yet. That's why. That's why they're all throwing tantrums. Because... Because we no one put any plants in the in the pots over here. Really. Did someone clip that? I've been watching T Hex for a long time and never heard him swear once. I've I've sworn at least three times on this channel. Maybe even four. So now, now they're throwing tantrums, and, and no one's going to get around to doing this because they're going to throw tantrums or go to bed or something. Yeah, 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 stand around idle instead of doing the thing that'll prevent a death spiral. You've got to be... F he destroyed a bunch of steel. If we didn't have 10 tons of steel, I would be unfathomable. Oh good, the gas is back in. I I'm I I am unfathomably angry. That is this is just stupid. We're going to have it we're going to die from a stupidity spiral. Just because I can't I can't plan this out and tell them to put plants in until it's been built. And I have to stare at the hanging pot until someone builds it, just to tell them what type of plant to put in. So of course I go look somewhere else. And this technically, technically isn't an eatery, because there wasn't a plant in the hanging pot. So now everyone's destroying things, and it doesn't even show me, like, down here there isn't a plan to rebuild the stuff they destroyed, so... So I don't know what they've destroyed. We're gonna we're gonna learn that the hard way. Cool. Very nice. Good good design. That's uh that's fun. That's what that is. Jesus Christ. Execute him? Send him to boot camp until he's reformed? Yeah, I think I saw someone else was tantruming, but I I don't know what if anything they broke. It, it's, it will remain a mystery until, you know, until we find out the hard way that our coolant loop has stopped and everyone's dead. You could at least just mark the stuff that they destroyed to be replaced. Look at that. Just some green. This is this is why they're all riding. There wasn't 
one of these plants, like, being planted would have stopped them all from rioting. Beyond ridiculous. Think it was evil plot? I am Sark, Trotsky, welcome in. Good to see you again. Eight K2 Blin, welcome, welcome. Build massage clinic. Nope, they don't deserve it. Thank Bud, how are you? Not bad. You've got to pump it up. Uh, that's the first time I've heard that noise when they're when they're rioting. Because, silly me, I placed the tiniest, tiniest amount of trust in them to build this. Yeah, none of, almost none of our food is growing. How? Okay, I think we need some radiant pipe here. I was going to say, how is this at 20 degrees, but our bristle blossom is at 30? 77% stress. Oh, don't worry, it's going up. Um, yeah, that's what you call difficult for stupid reasons. Can we drop off some crude oil here? I think we can. Just have to mark this to be swept because the auto sweeper isn't going to do it. So now we need to do the bloody bass emptying again. Not impressed. That's that's a water pump, isn't it? Liquid pump. All that time that it took to drain the gas, just undone. Because no one felt the need to place pot in a plant. Now we're making messes? I don't think I am... Is he stuck here? Really? You can't hop down here? Really? Uh, at least it wasn't the toilets breaking. It's not the toilets, it's fine. How's this build? I think it just needs settings. Uh, reset. Red means let heat in. Okay, so reset at below 200. And activate at above 210. That should be fine. What's our steam temp? 185. Oh, we've got no hot liquid. And there it goes. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I don't think we have to worry too much about controlling the input of heat into this room. Because it's not that much from the solids. We get more from the magma, I think. Like, over here is just creaking over 200. Oh, okay, never mind. It's 225, apparently. It's fluctuating all over the place. Yeah, it's not that much high. Uh, not that much higher. Oh, we need a bridge here. 
liquid bridge, like so. What? And hurry up before people fail to go to the bathroom. I don't see anything else that they apparently might have destroyed. Thought I saw someone else throwing a tantrum. At least we finally got the gas draining out again. Maybe I should put a sensor up here. Atmo sensor. Automated notifier. Bit of wire. And I can have it tell us when this has vacuum again. Got a lot of steel lying around up here. Okay. We got 3.7 tons of iron at a chilly 194 degrees over here. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, they finally built this. Alright, so we can only set this to green signal for a specific element. So, basically, we're going to set this to petroleum once things actually get started. Uh, no, we can't really make it work this way. I guess I'll have to... Drop just a little bit of crude in. To get it started. And I'll, I'll, I'll actually have to delete this input wire. Wait, wait, wait. What temp is this? 192. Oh, we need to... We need to green signal the door before we do that. Crap. Okay, never mind. Don't deconstruct that yet. You know what? I think... I think I'm just gonna add... a switch here. So I can always manually open that door. And maybe I should just put a switch here temporarily to let the crude oil in at first. Probably be careful of whatever the default is when we build this thing. It should be red. I certainly hope so. Okay, yeah, it's... Wait, what? No, it is outputting by default. That is spooky. Don't do that. Okay, uh, this one though, we actually do want it to be green in the meantime. And then let a little bit... 
have crude oil in. I forgot I de connect, uh, disconnected this. And we can set this to green signal when petroleum. And that's it. Now we can get rid of the... the signal switch on this one. Although... With such a... S no, that might, that might be a bad idea. Um, we should probably put a little bit more crude in to start with. Because we want a, a larger thermal mass so it doesn't raise temperature really rapidly. Not that I think it will raise that rapidly. Oh, and I wanted to put petroleum over here. Wasn't I going to put this way over here, actually? And... We want to keep this as a vacuum. It's probably not that important that this is a vacuum, but I would prefer it. Uh, our actual pump that will stick around later on. It's going to go over here. Some... I guess I could put the airlock door down. Wait, no, we're going to want to keep it not touching the liquid, right? So that it doesn't... so that heat doesn't escape. So I think we'll just do something like this. Don't think we need a double door for this one. Uh, we will need some power then. And we'll need a ladder on this side. You can heat a crude oil by pure oil? What? And after this cooling pure oil... What do you mean by that? The P-bomb just missed the clean water? The P-bomb? Nani? I need to mop this. Verpan, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Are they ever going to rebuild this? I should have built it out of steel just because we've got steel lying around. Quite a lot, actually. We're going to do this little temporary thing. That'll save a bit of a trip. How's our food? Terrifyingly low. Let's make some steaks. Since we've got eggs. Uh, these guys are overcrowded. Oh, bloody hell. Uh, we need glossy dragos in here when this gets overcrowded. They still didn't build that pipe? Really? Oh, I didn't put the ladder there. Because that happened before a load, uh, loading a game, I think. Alright. 
by the time they build this notifier, there's going to be no gas left in here. No, we're good, actually. Alright, so if... Below zero? What? 1.6 grams. If below one gram, I guess. It's reporting 1.6 grams? But when I set it to below one gram reports a red signal. What? Send green signal if below one gram. It's above one gram. What do you mean? They're saying you can have newly produced petroleum exchange the latent heat with crude oil as the crude comes in, so it doesn't need to be heated quite as much. Yeah, that happens, like, whether we want it to or not, pretty much. The petroleum at the end of such a heat exchanger will be roughly the temperature of the incoming crude, which is nice and low. Well, it's still way above the temperature of a steel... This was useless. Uh, it's still above the temperature of a steel pump what it can handle. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, and we can put our petroleum here now. Liquid petroleum and peek on this one. Also, I wanted to stretch this out so I could mop up that uh, root oil. How's a temp? Suboptimal, but at least some of our food is growing. Why is it so hot here? It's below 30. Just taking surprisingly long for the plants to cool down. Okay. How's our water supply? Uh, really good actually. Okay, that's something that's going well. Nice. And considering that we're taking in 60 degree water, um, I would actually argue our heat problems aren't as bad as they might otherwise be. Alright. We might survive. Alright, there's our petroleum, and... Uh-oh. Current load more than two... kilowatts. What? It's not... We're not putting more than two kilowatts onto this, are we? No, we're only putting a thousand on. It's not going to break the wires. Things are just going to go slow or something. Probably should have... Who's getting scolded and why? Probably carrying hot solids. Uh, probably should have made sure we had a smaller bucket for this petroleum here, actually. But it's fine, it'll get this thing started. That'll be sufficient. And I could either leave this here and just let it take heat damage. It's only made of gold amalgam. Uh, just to get, like, the last bit of petroleum in here, in here, or alternatively, we could actually just wait until the steel pump is able to do its thing. Alright. Oh, I just realized we must be pumping heat out of that room. 
in the meantime. Let's not do that, actually. Where is it going back to? Oh, I see. Okay. Now, can we clean up this mess? That stays. I kind of want this to look like this, and uh, we don't need the bottle emptier. And we need to make a vacuum over here. I think I can put it here just so that we don't have to try very hard with the power. And gas outlet goes here, and airlock door goes here. Soul shinery? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, we do need just a wee bit more food oil in here. Make sure that when we do start pumping heat into it, uh, it's not going to overshoot its target temperature rapidly. Reasonably well, thank you. No worries. Good to hear. Just have to keep an eye on this. I want maybe a couple of thousand kilograms, if that. Maybe a thousand or so. We're already over a thousand. As long as it takes some time for heat from this tile to get the crude oil up to 400 degrees. That's all I'm looking for. Someone gonna build this? Where's all that water coming from? Oh, magma time. Yeah, I think we're waiting for the next eruption before we with this. Okay. What do we have down here? Three grams of polluted oxygen in this tile. Already have vacuum on this side. We're missing out on copper right now because someone broke the airlock door for no reason. our iron build over here. Not sure why our polluted water coolant loop is moving so slowly right now. Where's the bathroom? No one's using that. Yeah, I'm not... Oh, probably because, yeah, there's new polluted water coming in. That's fine. That is fine. And we're removing the gas from here. Fantastic. Uh, I guess there's no harm in... in pumping... How, how can I... Insulated liquid pipe, igneous rock. There we go. I guess there's no harm in using this pump here and now. Just get a little bit more of that petroleum where it's supposed to go. And 
stop. And I'll probably just put like a temporary wall here. Until there's until the temperature of the new petroleum in here uh, drops below a certain temperature. That should be fine. I don't think we have to worry about leaving any of these solids in here, do we? Unless there's like polluted ice or something. You know what? Get rid of it. Get rid of it. I don't want to find out the hard way. Let's just steal. Pick it up anyway. And we do need a temperature sensor in here. So actually don't pick that up yet. Doop, doop, doop. Alright, copper build. We are down to 160 micrograms. That corner has 220, 210, 205, 200. Not too long now. And we can finally build that second airlock door again and get our pop a volcano build going. You should be looking for refined metal copper and nothing else. I'm pretty sure if... oh that's granite. Okay never mind. Pick up everything. Said by whoever that dupe was. Piss me off again and I'll smash your door. You'll be out the airlock. Walk the space plank. No mutineers on this rock. Taking this sweet time making that turbo sensor. But at this rate, maybe it would have been quicker to make a conveyor. Did we end up fixing this one? Yeah, we did. all of this mess and all of this mess ooh there's our semi new iron and look at that temperature drop very good it is allowing the temperature in this room to go a bit higher than 200 which is not the most efficient but I think it's probably fine don't really need to do the whole uh, what's the word I'm looking for conveyor shut off Besides, once it's settled down, there's a big queue here and it's a lot slower, so we get big bursts of heat like that. Uh, not so much. Cool, cool, cool. Six micrograms. Nine in the corner, it's about to collapse. In fact, we might already be at the point where the gas pump isn't going to do anything. It's 
just sort of... When the amount of gas gets low enough, it just sort of deletes itself. Normally you don't see a tile with one microgram persist for any amount of time. I was about to mark the the gas pump for deconstruction, but now I'm not so sure. Uh Oh. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm pretty sure it's slowly deleting itself now. And decon this yet again. And oh, there it goes. While well, we weren't looking, it super collapsed. Alright, now we re rebuild our airlock, and I think. Well, we need to put some water in here. I could have some ice dropped off. That'd be an easy way to get it in. Except... Would an item on this conveyor rail exchange temperature with ice? This is a very important question. I don't know. I think we need to put in at least a little bit of water. Which means this would have been a lot easier if I made it three tiles high. Oh, there's water here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. We can make this work with relative ease. It won't be a lot of water. Um, it's probably enough to get the whole thing going. So that we could drop in ice for the rest of it. Oh, this is supposed to be crude going in here, isn't it? Um, does this work? Looks like the answer is yes. We should be able to just let that fill. And then... Cut this off. Uh, I kind of forgot the part where we don't have anything actually consuming our crude oil yet. I suppose I could let a little bit more crude oil in here, but then I already got rid of the signal switch for that. Hmm. Oh, that figures. How am I going to get rid of that crude? Because I do not want this here heating up. Most certainly not. What did I make these out of? Iron. That does have an overheat temp. 125. Ah, crap. I actually do need to make these out of steel. If we're going to use this to cool them. Because this is going to be 200 degrees. Yeah, 125 isn't going to cut it. Alright, let's swap that one. Swap that one. Swap that one. At least we saw it. Got 15... Oh, that's kilograms. That's not that much. Snip it at intersection so it doesn't take from the main line first. Yeah, but there's nothing... There's nothing consuming it, period. Not right now, anyway. How long until our eruption up here? Holy... Wrap? What? 
why are we Excuse me? Pipe burst? As well, yeah, yeah, yeah. How? Why? Did... Why did our magma, which only ever came up to here... Did we dump like 17 tons of igneous rock here that melted? We had a lot of igneous rock here, right? I... I'm... I'm very curious. Very... Very curious as to how that happened. How far back are we going to have to go? Probably should have checked. Okay. What's this made of? Obsidian, obsidian. We got 36.6 .6 tons of igneous rock sitting here. If... If we're not transferring heat up this way as quickly as we need to, is it gonna is it gonna reach melting point? What's it at? Fourteen hundred and eleven. Uh, and it's gonna melt it. Oh, oh crap. It's going to melt in, like, one degree. Or maybe two. Um, yeah, I think that's what happened. So right now... We're not transferring heat up to the steam room from the molten rock because we've effectively prioritized transferring the heat from the igneous rock, the solid. I guess um, we can try this. Autosave has got, got us the perfect time, indeed. <laughs> Hurry up and pick it all up. We're either going to just miss it, or we're going to see glorious magma explosion. Is there some way I can, like, dispose of the igneous rock? Like, it has to go somewhere. What am I going to do? I just hope that this is all it takes to have an infinite storage. Because it's not just going to be inconvenient if that's not the case. It's going to be... Eventually this is going to happen. 
with the explosion of magma. Just let it all into the steam room. I wonder how hot the steam room's gonna get. It's already... oh, it's not that hot. It's currently at like 208. That'll take a nice 15 minutes to clear up. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. That's what worries me. Weren't we at like 36 tons a minute ago? Alright, well, watching it happen slowly isn't going to help anything. Yeah, it's like half a degree from popping. Well, we're going down one decimal point every little while. For, this, uh, for the volume, that is. And there it goes. <laughs> there it goes. It is indeed volcano time. So, if I were to design this from scratch in the future, and I think I'll, I'll be able to implement this pretty easily, uh, easily actually. Basically, we're going to have to dump all the igneous rock... Well, I'm going to have to move... I'm going to have to have, like, the liquid bridge here. Uh, <laughs> yay, indeed. Working as intended. So, here's what I have in mind. We pick up the igneous nope. rock unconditionally. We drop it somewhere like here or here. Uh somewhere in a vacuum with infinite storage. I, I hope this is all it takes to do infinite storage. We're going to use a conveyor chute and output it somewhere like here. Uh, and then we're going to we're going to have another auto sweeper pick it, uh, pick it up to dump it into the steam room under this or that condition. And actually, now that I think of it, instead of checking the temperature of the item that we're dropping into the steam room, we should just check the temperature of the steam room. Um, well, it's a bit of a spaghetti problem here. Actually, no, it's not. No, we could literally just connect this here. Depending on this setting. Yeah, no, that's the opposite of what I need. Um, so we need that temperature sensor. Or, or we could just use the output from the memory toggle. If you reload, might have a saving option to rescue. Saving option to rescue. Uh, but yeah, I can definitely go back and autosave or two. The only problem with patching it this way... Um, like this time... Is the dupes are going to be able to reach... The really, really hot igneous rock... More easily than they can reach the igneous rock in here. The building, right? So... I could maybe, I could maybe dump it up here where they can't reach. I think they actually probably can reach that with that mod that I'm using. Uh, and I don't really have room to put in like a little hidey hole for it. Okay. So... Don't think we can rescue this from the newest autosave.
I think we'll probably have to go a little further back just because there's so much to pick up. Did we go from the very first moment trying to pick up all that igneous rock? Thirty six point six tons. That is going to take a minute to pick up. All right, I think we're going back one more. Schnell bitte. Danke schon. Uh, this also looks bad. 1408 degrees. We've got like two degrees plus two or three degrees before it melts quite literally. We can try. We could maybe try from here to just dump it all super quickly. Build the tile below the insulated tile with the 36 tons rubble. Build the tile below here. Build one tile where the hydro sensor is now. Destroy that insulated tile destroy below that but the liquid's gonna chase us I don't think I want to turn all of this into steam okay so we're gonna need uh, can the jeeps even do this quickly enough um Let's do it like this. And that should be fine. Put this here. Have an output here. Have another conveyor loader. Why did I end up decide? Oh, I remember. I remember why that other one had to be... had to be made of steel. And then this will go up this way. Okay, do it quickly, please. Tile below, destroy insulated, build tile over hydro sensor. Then destroy the lowest tile, rebuild. Sorry, I'm not following. Then you can reach through the corner to reach it. Uh, I still need somewhere for it to go, like, I basically need to have the auto sweepers pick it up as quickly as possible. I don't know if this auto save is far back enough, but we're gonna try. What's our temperature? 1409? Did it just... There's molten iron here. How did that happen? Uh, seriously, how did that happen? It's only a thousand degrees. Oh, it's 1600. It's one kilogram. Oh, was it because they replaced... 
conveyor rail or something? What what dropped here? Hold on, iron. Iron ore. Twenty seven hundred fifty degrees. Oh that's gas. Uh fifteen thirty four. Yeah, no, uh, it's got a higher melting point than the igneous rock, so that shouldn't have been it. How did we just get iron here? Okay, it's starting to happen. And... Well, I guess I can let it go both ways at the moment, that's no big deal. Question is, can the auto sweeper with no throughput limit, if the auto sweeper is the bottleneck, can we pick all of this up in time? I'm thinking probably not. <laughs> we could put another one here, uh, which will probably overheat. It's going to need power. Priorities. Okay. Oh, and I forgot to put... Yikes. Oh, the water's actually... 11.8. 11.8. Eleven point eight. The water's not exchanging any temperature with this. Cool. That's fine. Uh oh. Think we'll make it. Thirty one point eight tons, fourteen hundred ten degrees. I don't think so. I don't think so. 1410.2, so we are 0.3 degrees over at the moment. 0.4 degrees over. 0.5. We're only down to 31 tons. 0.6 degrees. I don't think we're going to make it. Also, this thing seems to be full, so now our second auto sweeper has nothing to do. Yeah, it's, uh. I should have built another one of these. It seems to be bottlenecked. I don't think it would have been enough, though. We're almost. We're, we're 0 0.8 degrees over already. We're down to 30 tons. 0.9. One degree over. One point one. Twenty-nine tons left. Maybe maybe this is still possible. <laughs> maybe it is. I I have my doubts. Maybe if I hadn't wasted time, we could have pulled it off. And everyone's going to bed. So what temperature exactly does it go over? I think someone said three degrees extra. 1409... Indeed. So it's 1410 minus 0.1. We are 1.4 degrees over right now. Tectonic. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well.
26.5 tons left. And we're two degrees over. It'd be good if the dupes weren't sleeping now. Fourteen hundred and twelve point two point three. I think at fourteen twelve point nine, it's all over. So we got it down to like what twenty four tons. We got like a third of it out. And there it goes. Fantastic. Can you activate the door and pull some heat directly out of the magma? Uh, that might be a good idea as well, yeah, but I need to be careful with it. Or I can just play with the settings here. What temperature does it come out? 11... Oh, sorry, 1726. So hundreds of degrees in excess. Alright, it might be worth a try to do that as well. So... Let's... Let's look at what we've got in the steam room and how hot it can go before something bad happens. Um, melting point of steel. Probably some stuff built out of iron or copper in here. Uh... We don't have anything that, like, overheats, right? So it would literally have to melt. So I'm pretty sure we could go up to, like... At least 275? Building two mesh tiles to elevate the debris above the magma. Would be a quick fix and doesn't prevent the magma from reaching the door. Huh. So... In the future, that's not going to make the igneous rock pop up here, is it? That would be very convenient. So if there's like a mesh tile here, it's going to... When this solidifies, it's just going to pop up here. Is that the idea? That's way cooler than having an extra auto-sweeper and convey a loader and uh, convey a chute. I like that a lot, actually. I want to try it. Put this other stuff that we're trying aside for the moment. So we're gonna make it out of steel, of course. Mesh tile out of steel. I never thought I would see the day. Why can't I place this? Oh, I can. Uh, don't, don't give up now! Uh... And then put this over here. Wait, what else can I make this out of? I think it has to be refined. Yeah, unless I'm going to make it out of iron or copper. I think I'd rather play it safe. Build the lower mesh tile first. Is it going to matter? I think this magma's gotten hotter than usual, too. Normally they wouldn't be getting scalded this easily. Oh, no. Uh, 
He saw nothing. Build order here is important, indeed. Not steel mage. Kupi. Zialium. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It displaces. It does indeed. I don't suppose I have to build one on the right side first. Boop, 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 boop. All right. So now we're really getting into the abusing the game mechanics stuff. At worst case, I'll have to build a tile here before I build this one. Just the lower first, then the top one. Okay. It displaces up first if it can, if not, it goes right by default. Interesting. Sorry, Bait Schultz. It has to be done. I wish duplicate checkpoints didn't require constant power and generate heat. I guess I could build one out of steel here. No, wait, I can just put a door. Make a pneumatic door out of steel, and then we can say the dupes aren't allowed to go left here. That way they won't come to pick up this uh, igneous rock. As opposed to this igneous rock up here. Um, but yeah, that seems to be functional. Your modded airlock doesn't allow for that? Uh, it does, but like, this is the entrance. This room is a vacuum. And then we go from the vacuum room to the steam room, so that the steam... Hardly any of the steam heat leaks out. So they actually have to go through two doors to get to the less hot igneous rock over here. There we go. Wait, does that mean... Does that mean, now mean that future solidifying magma here is going to pop out to the right? So I should actually get rid of this one? Fourteen hundred and twelve degrees. It's it's very hot still. Um. All that heat is transferring through the mesh tile. <laughs> This might not be the way to save us. I could maybe delete this one. Could make it pop up again. Uh, igneous rock. 1412.9, I think it melts. It's, it's 0. 0.4 degrees away from melting. Uh, let's do this real quick. Let's allow our steam to get up to... What? 500 degrees? Alright, what's the temp now? It is holding. It's dropping down here, so hopefully we'll be okay. If these mesh tiles would just to solve the current problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was kind of hoping that we could set it up so that 
when this magma solidifies, it pops up here. Which I think for that purpose, maybe if we just have one mesh tile, uh, that might actually accomplish it. Maybe we actually need another steam turbine. Um, that might be a thing. That, that would definitely not hurt right now. Why is this one not active? Disabled by automation grid. Oh! Wait, don't we need a not gate? If the door is closed, we're letting heat in. We want the steam turbines active, do we not? Oh no, that should be fine. Eh. It made sense when we had a latch with a small range, but right now it's kind of a little bit weird. Debris sitting on mesh tiles in a vacuum don't exchange heat with the mesh tiles. Oh. That's, yeah, I forget these things because they're very weird. And that's obsidian. So, unless we can be sure that we keep the magma at a fairly low level, which we should be able to. Yeah, I'm hoping just one mesh tile here is going to be all it takes to pop the igneous rock to vacuum and not touching a fluid. And then we can just store it there indefinitely. Uh, and let it in based on the temperature in here. Just like we do with the heat from here. What's the temp? 240, that's not that bad. Why is our steam turbine not running? Because it's waiting for 250, I forgot. Oh, it's waiting for 500. Let's not. Uh, 250. Allow. There we go. Oh, and hey, they finished the, uh, the steam turbine already. Holy crap, I almost forgot. I mean, I did forget about the petroleum in here. Um, isn't it 530-something? That it goes to... gas? 538. Like nine. Oof. Yeah, I was about to go to like 500 or a thousand degrees or something in here, but uh, luckily we were not quite that silly. Alright. I think we should actually remove this tile now because, well, A. It looks like apparently there's no liquid on this tile. Uh, but secondly, we want we don't want uh, the next bit of solid igneous rock to pop out here, do we? All right, did we connect that to the automation wire? We did. And I think I want to try simply connecting this thing. Uh, uh, 
connect it to the... Let the heat in logic. As opposed to the temperature of the item that we're dropping here. So we can just probably remove the thermo sensor. I could just set it to something that's always red, but it'll be a bit simpler to see what's going on here. Oh wait, that means it's only going to let this out when we reset. Uh, I should probably have just linked it straight to this, which I can do for no effort. Whoopsie daisy. And that also means I could have left the thermo sensor in place and just disconnected the wire in case we go back. Whoopsie daisy. Why is there water up here? How is there water up here? Oh, did we somehow drop some of the water out of the steam turbines? I don't get it. Doesn't look like it. We are having other issues? Nope. Couldn't possibly be. Look at all this food we still have. We're gonna survive at least another week. Okay. Wait, no, we need a not gate. Because these are like opposites. Well, since we're trying to dump all of this uh, igneous rock for the moment, I'll let it slide. Where would I squeeze in the not gate, though? Probably right here. So actually, don't put in the conveyor rail loader. I'll just leave that disconnected for the moment. I just don't want that 20-30 tons of igneous rock sitting here, it's making me nervous. obsidian is there. There we go. Nothing but igneous rock and vacuum. It's like two tons per tile we had before. So once it's down to like five or ten tons can maybe cool it on jamming all of this into the steam room. Yeah, the steam room, the three steam turbines seem to be keeping up fairly well. Temperature seems to be hovering. That's quite good actually. Maybe we'll just wait till this is gone. before I connect those wires the way they're supposed to be connected. The only thing that worries me here is I'm going to forget 
And then I'm going to look at this and say, what the hell was I thinking? Alright, let's check on our copper build. That seems like it's not going to explode the moment we look away from it. Uh, so here we have our little crude oil loop. Oh, that's right. We were trying to get water in here before we got distracted. Uh, so we need a little bit of probably just regular old pipe, to be honest. We haven't built the steam turbine pipes yet. Should probably drop that water right on top of the heat conductor. Or even to the left of it, since that's the corner. And we don't need any... We've got the AETNs calling them, so this should be fine. Probably. Hopefully. Alright, uh, we need a little... A little bit of... Liquid vent over here. And I guess we'll just connect the pipe directly to this. Should be fine, right? And then we need some power. And I think we're almost ready for the copper. Did we get rid of that crude? We did not. We literally need like five tiles to store the crude somewhere. I could like add a little loop and then make it temporary. I could even just expand this up in this general direction. That doesn't actually loop back though. Well, it doesn't need to. Alright. Literally just that should be enough. Let's find out. We're down to a mere 21 tons of igneous rock. Fantastic. There's our crude. And it must have come from here, right? Yes. Perfection. I'll get rid of these before they cook. I guess it doesn't matter if the pipe gets hot. There's nothing in it. Um, and then disconnect this so that this will sort itself out. Did I already set this up? Yes, I did. So no one in here should be glum from overcrowding. Unless I haven't set the number correct yet. I think the max might be five. Oh, it's probably like eight, but it counts the eggs. Yeah. Alright. Don't forget to sweep. And... We're almost ready to get a little bit of water in here. Look at them, nothing to do. Uh, Verpan, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, what are we printing? Omelettes, easy choice. And we actually climbed back up to 40k calories. Or 40,000k calories. While I wasn't watching, so that's comforting. More of our bristled blossoms are growing. That's very good indeed.
What's our uptime? 62%. So we've been making more power. Yeah, that's why we've been managing to cool more. Probably because we're working off our backlog um, of hot stuff here. I think we can maybe... Maybe get away with... Setting up this... Uh, setting this up the way it's supposed to be now. So basically we're going to close the door and open the conveyor chute at the same time. As soon as we drop down to 200 degrees. Or just below it. Or I could set it to like below 201 I guess. Fourteen, fourteen tons of igneous rock. When does this erupt? Not for forty-seven point four cycles. I think we, I think we got there. All right. So now we've got all this electricity uh, coming in. From these three, it's. Uh, 24, 25.5 hundred watts continuously, which means, well, if we ignore everything else, we could theoretically run the two thermo aqua tuners constantly. Apparently this one has its pipe blocked half the time, though, even though it's supposed to have priority output. Not sure what's up with that. I guess we're never reaching 100% uptime for each thermo aqua tuner. Last cycle was 70%, so maybe we do already need more thermo aqua tuners. Or, like, one more, probably. Oh, I didn't want to power this, did I? Just missed all the fun. Damsel, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, the fun here was... We had 36 point something tons of igneous rock. Uh, that got melted again all at the same time. So we had, like... All the lava. All the magma. So that was cool. So now we've set something up so that the igneous rock will, uh, we hope, using just a little, little bit of cheese here without using a machine, when this tile solidifies, it the igneous rock should pop up here, which is not sitting in magma, so it's not going to exchange heat. I've had that kind of fun happen. It's uh, neat, indeed. We've also had a lot of fun with uh, with our petroleum boiler, which, come to think of it, that would be another good way to siphon off some of this heat. But there's no urgency left anymore. I probably wouldn't want to be doing that while I'm, uh, you know, trying to rush through this anyway. So what do we have here? We have vacuum. We have... Crude oil comes out here. We don't allow any crude oil to come out if we detect crude oil on this tile. And I'm hoping we don't end up with, like, petroleum here, crude oil here. Otherwise, otherwise this bit of logic is not going to save us. Uh, but yeah, the problem before was too much pressure of crude oil building up on one tile. And even if you output it down the bottom, it goes up, up, up. So, I think we can get rid of our gas pump now. We've got a bit of petroleum already in this loop here that's going to give us some free cooling. Uh, we're also going to, once the petroleum is cool enough, 
we're going to allow the liquid pump to fill this loop. And I don't think we need these power cables here, do we? Or this one. Pretty sure steel, iron, and what's this? Gold amalgam. Not going to matter if they reach a certain temperature in here. So I think we're probably ready to try again with the petroleum boiler. Let's give it a save. That was quick. All right. Let's reconnect. Oh, wait. Yeah, no, it was the thermo sensor I have to change. Um, it's currently in vacuum. That's kind of throwing things off a little bit. Oh, I've got this switch here as well. Okay, cool. No, wait. That needs to be red. And we, we need to say below 400 degrees. Which... No, it's inverted, isn't it? If we're above 400 degrees, we need to open the door. So the heat stops coming through. There it is. This is an obsidian tile. Uh, it's just a regular tile. So it conducts heat a lot faster than insulated tile and a lot slower than metal tile. And it's obsidian because that's the only non-insulator... I guess we probably could have used ceramic as well. It might be a bit slower. Um, how, how quickly does ceramic conduct? Uh, yeah, it's like three times slower than obsidian. And the steel tile, the metal tile is like uh, 52 or something. Thermal conductivity. Uh, but yeah, we want the heat to come in a bit slower so that we uh, we have a more precise, uh, less of an overshoot of our target temperature here. So I guess if we wanted to be really precise with it, ceramic would be the way to go. But ultimately, I don't think that's necessary. We're already at 920 degrees on this tile. But the crude oil is... 90. Definitely work no lie for real on God, indeed. Alright. So once we reach 403 degrees, this is going to pop up. We're going to have petroleum up here. Uh, and then we'll actually get a red signal. Sorry, a green signal from this one. What's our temp here? Hovering at about 210. Yeah, that's working pretty well. Letting the solids in whenever we close this door as well. It may slightly overshoot our target temperature, but it's still pretty precise. Okay, what do we have here? 205, 210, 215... There'll be more oil next time, so it won't heat up quite as quickly. Did I not mark this for decon? Apparently not. Alright, what are we up to? Almost 300? Alright, let me get some water. Almost missed it. 
There we go. Alright, what's this temperature? 370? Surprisingly cool, considering we just popped 400. We didn't let more crude oil in yet, because this thing takes a moment to change its signal. Alright, and we're over 400. Door opens, we stop getting more heat. This thing starts cooling down, that was quick. Let me pause it real quick, I need my drink. Oh, mute? My bad. My bad. Uh, by the way, we have a couple of new emotes. Look at this masterpiece. Not at all the first draft of someone who doesn't have artistic skill, don't worry about it. This is down to 300? Oh no, okay, okay. So are we getting... We're getting petroleum only up top. This is fine as long as we don't get crude coming over the edge. Maybe I should put this here. Even though it would mean the dupes can't get access. Toronto hot, indeed. So, what do you think? Are we gonna get... If I don't change anything... Uh, are we gonna get... Crude oil... Going over the edge? Or... Will it only be petroleum? So far, it's going really well. Uh, it's very... It's much more careful letting the liquid and heat through this one is well we had we kind of had the heat down pad already uh but the fact that we're not letting crude in while we detect crude on this tile really seems to be helping well that's a lot of crude all of a sudden wait 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 we've got a thousand kilo on this tile would you, would... Okay, we are letting heat in, but still. Three seventy six grams, six point nine kilograms, and seven forty kilograms of petroleum, and this is nine hundred ninety one kilograms and a thousand kilograms of crude. That is that is a little bit odd, Oni. Not gonna lie. The temperature between these two is pretty much the same. So maybe... Maybe I should allow this to get a little bit hotter. How about... 410? We're trying to avoid 530, so... I don't think... Uh, 539 plus 3. 542. 0.1 less than 542. I don't think letting it get to 410 is going to be much of a problem, actually. Do we still have... Oh. We don't have any more magma. That looks really weird. But yeah, there's actually no magma on this tile, so we're not 
getting any more heat. Not for another 45 cycles. Oh no. What if I built like an obsidian tile right about here? And then we can steal some more of this heat before before 44 days. Gidges, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hey, Dara, welcome also. And that kind of that that was more reckless than I thought it was. That kind of heated up our 5.8 tons of igneous rock. It's not as much. It's nowhere near as much as we had before. I don't think we would have to worry, actually, if that did melt. Cool, cool, cool. But that wasn't enough to push the magma onto this tile. Apparently. What is this? Oh. Oh, we had 163 kilograms of magma solidify and pop up here. That's weird. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There it goes. Huh. Well, this doesn't seem to be working. I wasn't expecting that. We have a very sweaty tile of igneous rock now. There we go. Maybe I should, like... No, it's fine. It's fine. We'll just wait 44 more days to find out if this system works. It, it looks like it does. It really does. The mesh tile bugged? Oh. Was it just the graphic? Because there was no magma here. If I remember, sometimes lava freezes inside. Does that mean we can't use the mesh tile to keep igneous rock out? We probably don't even need the mesh tile anymore. R probably. I don't know, it makes me a little nervous not having it, to be honest. As long as the magma can get to this tile and transfer heat over here, I think it'll be fine. I'm also wondering why the magma wasn't going into the mesh tile. Hmm. Maybe it needs a certain volume or something. Magma have a high viscosity. Need like 300 plus kilograms to flow. Indeed. As we can see right about here. Alright, well, since we have to wait forever to see how that goes, let's look at our copper build. Which... Still doesn't... Oh, that's why. Still doesn't have this teensy bit of water that I found. Uh, I thought we had more here. That's definitely considerably less than I was expecting. Hmm. I could probably put a pump here. And hopefully solve two problems at once, kind of. It's going to heat up this. Uh, it's going to be fine. You can pump the salt water also. Oh yeah, because it'll just... We'll end up with some salt, right? And pure water. That's a good point. Alright. Let's put some kind of tile here. Oh no, don't kill the pole plant. Oh no. Uh, 
Can I maybe... We need some power here. It's probably the easy way to do it. It's not growing anyway? I guess. Alright, fine. We'll put a tile here. And then... And then what? Did not think that through. There we go. I wish the... Oh, what is it called? Bottle emptier wasn't three tiles high. That would be much more convenient. Much more often. How much water do we need in here, though? It really doesn't take much for a steam room. We've currently got... Uh... Not very much at all. Okay. Oh, now I need to be careful not to put in too much. Okay, okay, okay. Let's stop right about there. And I'm pretty sure I overdid. Wait, no, it's because we've got two different types of fluid here. That's only 9.9 .9 kilograms. Um... Yeah, I think that'll probably be okay. What's this saying? All inputs blocked, you don't say. Uh, suppress current. Alright, are we ready? Well, we're gonna have to wait for the copper volcano to feel like doing its thing anyway. Why do we suddenly get a little bit of vacuum? That's kind of strange. Wait, what? No. Oh, I didn't realize that's... Oh, no. No, no, no. 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 I sort of thought this was neutronium for some reason. Oh, it's gonna... Oh, no. Oh, no. Hurry up. Hurry, Hurry up. I thought we had ages before it erupted. Oh, no. So what do we got here? Obsidian, granite, abyssalite. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. Okay. It's, it's alright. In fact, maybe I should cancel this until... Uh... Uh, is that gonna be okay though? Probably? Maybe? No, oh, it's idle now. Cool, cool, cool. But everyone's asleep. No, this is no dupe idle. This is our opportunity to clear out, to fix things before the volcano erupts again. And we can't tell when it's going to erupt again. But they hurry up to go to bed. Indeed they do. Classic dupes. Simply Coco. Good to see you again. You're welcome. You're welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I'm sorry, Budgie Pun. Looks like he's not going to take damage or anything, actually. Oh, there's our steam. Right quick. Look at that. Beautiful. Uh, Gidges, thank you for the follow. Alright, how much steam do we have per tile? Like 10 kilograms? That's probably enough, right? So there's no such thing as, like, salty steam, right? It's not something that's done. Oh, I didn't set these yet, did I? I did, actually. 
So why didn't they have maximum efficiency if they only trigger at 210 degrees? Maybe we don't have enough steam yet. Salt stays on the ground. Indeed it does. Blaz, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, Budgie Bond's getting sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you can stop now. You, you can take a break, Budgie. No, you don't have to... Workaholic. Did I set this to everything? I did. We should probably allow some more water in. Looks like so much more water than it is because the different fluids can't mix. Good job, cavern. And now we don't have to worry about this thing melting a path out of its containment. Cool, cool, cool. I'm not exactly sure how this tile of molten copper cleared up. Maybe all the heat got transferred to bungee? Overheat? Uh, what's overheating? Oh. It is... our Robo Miner. Really? Wait, what? 130 degrees. Wait, did we make this out of iron? I distinctly remember going out of my way to replace these with steel. I think that probably happened before I had to load a save. Oh no. I thought you I thought someone was going to be referring to this thing again. But I already suppressed the notifications for that one. Uh, but yeah, these need to be steel, which normally isn't necessary. Uh, with our other builds like this, we're running the central coolant loop. Although, after figuring out this one, I would definitely use the crude oil instead. So that we don't have to transfer this heat back into the main base. Uh, so basically, we have a little loop here... Crude oil, no pumps or aqua tuners or anything, it's all free. And it just loops into the steam room uh, and drops down to like 200 degrees. So if you have something that can withstand 275 degrees, you're golden. But for these three items in the vacuum that gain heat very, 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 very slowly, that is all that is required. In fact, maybe I should redesign these other ones. It'd be a bit of a pain. Well, I'm probably not going to do it with this lot. It's not that much heat, I did just say that. I'm not going to do it with this lot because we're using this area to cool our future uh, petroleum down to a mere 200 degrees. Uh, why don't I just use that same loop on this lot? Genius. Okay, so we need... I can't, like, rotate these around, so this would have to Come in here, and then find its way. What if I had a bridge here? Uh, 
Oh, I can't make it out of sandstone. Bridge here. Bridge here. That's going to go up there. Easy enough. It's pretty good, actually. Because this is vacuum, so it doesn't matter if that's just regular liquid pipe. And these items are in the same boat as the steel pump. They just have to be as cold as, say, 200. Decon and rotate? No, I don't want to have to do it. Um, but this should be fine. This should actually be pretty easy. Just one more piece of pipe remains. Uh, you yeah, know that looks right. And this goes here. Oh, I need a another piece of pipe here. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, that's getting done quick. There it is. Nice. So these machines are no longer going to be ever so slightly heating up our base. And we're going to keep them down at a chilly 200 degrees. Same with the petroleum over here. Same with this liquid pump. And there comes more water. Do we have a decent... Oh, wow. Yeah, we've got a very decent supply, supply of water now. Nice. How's our copper build looking? Oh, when do you erupt? 0.4 cycles. Perfect. We get to see how this works. Or to what extent it's working. Uh, but first... We need... Steel Robo Miner. Right about here. Let's put this in first since we need to see where it fits. Uh, conveyor loader, steel, and a robo miner, steel. There we go. So that just leaves the two iron builds where. These three machines are transferring a bit of heat back to the main base. But honestly, it's so small, I'm not that worried about it. Especially since I don't have a different coolant handy. Um, I don't think I want to pump crude oil or petroleum all the way over here. Just to take advantage of that so that we can get ever so small an amount of cooling here uh, for free. What do we have? Print. Some omelettes. Oh, we're really low on food. I'm scared. Uh, where's our egg cracker? Here it is. Good. Eat some more hatches, I guess. Are these guys glum from overcrowding? Yes, they still are. Let's drop their pop a little bit more. That's a lot of pips as well. Overcrowded glum. Alright. I guess we're eating pip steak as well. Probably don't kill the babies though. Why... Why are so many of these bristle blossoms sad if we're always at like 
just below 30 degrees here. Is it the temp of the water coming in? Ooh. Yes, yes it is. Hmm. I'm thinking... We should exchange temperature with the pool here. Is that polluted oxygen in here? How? Everything except for the loader is built. Who's on the job? Nobody. Much now bitter. Robo miner is gaining heat because the, the coolant is actually hotter. But it's going to stop at like 200 or less. When does this erupt? 0.9 cycles. Can we please get this finished? And we should be able to reconnect this now as well. So at the moment, these new builds are actually sucking heat out of the steam room. But it'll be fine once they equalize. sleeping, I guess we're never going to see that built. Um, probably don't need these gas pipes anymore, I hope. We're not seeing this erupt for another 40 cycles. Steamed pips? <laughs> Indeed. I mean, I let them, I let way too many of them grow. They got very sad because they were overcrowded. Maybe I could make another pip farm and deliberately place, uh, what is it called? Wasn't it slime or something? Yeah, it's 125 degree slime becomes dirt. That's actually pretty tough. Pretty annoying to try and set up. To try and build natural tiles. Crude oil is getting in. Door is closed. What's happening? What, what crude oil? What do you mean? This one? The door is closed because the temperature here is below 410. And the crude oil is trying to output because we're not detecting crude oil on this tile. Which unfortunately we can't put the sensor right above the liquid vent. Um, but it's actually like over pressure right now so it's not outputting anything. Is that the one you meant? It was just running, just making sure still kosher. Fair enough. Alright, did we get our copper thing built? We did. Allow everything. It's actually going to be heating up the steam room quite a bit. The iron is probably going to gain a lot of heat. Whoops. And there it is. Oh wow, it's also losing temperature really quickly. I think we need more mass, more thermal mass of steam in here. What have we got, 15 kilograms per tile? 
theoretically we could go up to uh, almost a thousand, but we might have some like overpressure problems before we do that. Um, but let's definitely add a little bit more water in. Not too much. We can always we can always add more very easily. It's a lot harder to take it out. And see how that goes. And here we are heating it up again. Fantastic. Also, give us that salt. Wait, don't sweep up all the copper yet. And I should probably use the temperature in the room to decide whether we're bringing more copper in or not. Instead of the temperature of the copper. How much have we got? One ton at 700 degrees. Fantastic. I think we, I think we need a bit more water. We're still... We're still turning the steam turbines off and on rather frequently. And see how that goes. All right. 38 cycles till we do this again. Was that temp sensor set above copper chute? Uh, yes, it was. But we're not going to be using this one. Much still bitter. Good job, Sark. Fantastic. So basically, if we're letting in heat, we're letting in heat from the liquid and from the solids. Cool, cool, cool. Erupts again in 0.3 cycles. It really has very small eruptions, this one. But yeah, I think I've just about got my... Volcano Taming build refined... to almost a final version. This one doesn't need any... any kind of active cooling for this stuff. We obviously want a little bit of cooling for the steam turbines. Just this little bit seems to be fine. Don't want to waste all the cooling on those when they just need to stay below 100. Eruption time. Fantastic. Isn't that the reset one? Oh, it is the reset one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So we're waiting for 210 degrees. And then... You know, it takes like two seconds to suck up that heat. Yeah, I think we should put more steam in. More water. Maybe about five or six hundred kilograms per tile. Well, I actually, I'm pretty sure we can go to like almost a thousand, but if you put that much in to begin with, explosive things can happen. Like before it turns to steam. What are we printing? Uh, definitely don't want any more dupes right now. Oh, we're basically out of food. Oh, crap. Uh, body temperature. Why are we not... We're running through 18 degrees... 18 degree liquid is coming through here with radiant pipes. The oxygen here is like 18, 19, 20 degrees. Down here, one tile below, it's like 29. Huh. Wasn't expecting a 10 degree difference across here. Who left this freaking hot iron sitting on top of this plant? Rude. Okay, I guess we could... Do it like this. The plants are by far the most important. Important thing to cool. Hopefully this is enough. Despite the fact that we're giving it kinda hot water. Temp shift plates would work. That's actually a really good idea. I forget those are a thing because they kind of don't make sense. Do we not have iron? We do. We have all of the iron. Oh. Apparently we don't have that much iron. It's 800 per tile? Holy crap. Uh, what did I just make them cancel? For a quick fix, drop one temp made of ice, indeed. Uh, I think this will probably be enough. Probably. Now we just do some trims so that the so that our coolant doesn't go all over the place. There we go. All right. Now, how quickly are our plants going to start growing? Uh, rather quickly, apparently. Like, really, really quickly. Silly me, expecting the tile below the tile that's 20 degrees to not be 30-something degrees. Well, I guess that's it. This is how we don't die. That is very silly. Your pipes should be ready to go by that. Yeah, they, they're pretty cheap. They're like 50 per tile. The pipes. And they're all right in the middle of the base, so they get built very, very quickly. 
Alright. So how much copper do we have already? Beep, boop, boop, boop. boop. Uh, 1.7 tons. Not bad. Not bad at all. Didn't I mark it to sweep up all the salt? Oh, that's right, we added more. I forgot. How much have we got per tile? 60 kilograms, that's not that much. I think we should still add some more. Little by little. And maybe I should stop telling the dupes to sweep all the salt over and over again. Oh, it's functional anyway. I'm really glad I had the necessity to discover that obsidian tiles are perfectly good to transmit heat instead of, like, steel tiles. Because when you're building your first one of these, an another few hundred steel is actually kind of stings a little bit. It also kind of stings that we have to wait 44 cycles the moment that I think I got this working properly. Um, we should be able to connect this with no problems now, right? I don't think it's going to go and hook our liquid pump, because it's not going to touch it. Seems good. And we'll let that saturate when we do get our petroleum. That's going to be our new best coolant. Well, best temperature range coolant. Can we mop this? Still? No? Alright then. That was very quick. How about now? Fantastic. Should probably start working on our luxury rooms. How big is the... how big can the Great Hall be? 120 tiles. That's all the way out to here, actually. Let's do that. Yeah, we'll make our final great hole right here. Why not? Maybe I should put a ladder here as well. Should we put here rec room? Toilets? How many toilets do we need for 20 dupes? Maybe we should put them like on the other side of the bedrooms? When do they go to the bathroom? Is it at the end of the work shift? I think it is. I'll have to pay attention to it next time. Depends on schedule, indeed. Just under 800. 800? Okay. Okay. 
don't think we need these anymore, do we? Look at them go. Uh, so if it's 30 tiles wide, we should easily be able to have 10... 10 mess tables on either side. Hmm. How should we design our final great hall? I'm thinking some of the fancier hanging parts, the aero parts, made out of diamond. And... Let's see. That actually lines up very well. So that much can stay the same. And it requires mess tables, no industrial machinery, size, decor, recreational building. And the water cooler counts as a recreational building. How many of these do we have? One, two, three, four, five, ten. Could we do some kind of art in the middle? Um, furniture? I think large is too large, right? No? We could do a couple of large. Uh, we could do a marble block. Majorly increases decor, contributing to morale. Plus 20. Is this not the kind of thing where they do art on it? Is it just literally just a marble block? Hmm. Oh, we could fill it with canvases as well. Decor plus 10, plus 10, plus 10. I don't think the material matters, does it? Oh, gold amalgam. Yes, it does. Or copper. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I kind of want a sculpture or two, though. I could do a pair of sculpting blocks in the middle under the painting. No, I think I'll have a couple of large... Perhaps right here. Or we could put the water cooler in the middle. Let's see. We need ten on each side, right? Maybe water cooler here. And sculptures here. Should it be made out of granite? Probably granite, if not ceramic. We've got a million granite. Low on reeds? Really? Huh. I always sort of took those for granted. Where were we getting reeds from? These are obviously too hot. I don't want to farm them. We should have somewhere where we can get them for free. Probably. Aren't they usually in the slimy biome? Give me those eggshells. Hmm. There's one up here. Growth halted. Entombed? How are you entombed? Hmm. Hmm. Also, our exploration over here is halted. Let's do something about that. Could always open a pea water pocket, drop a pump, and hydro farm reeds with it? 
Hydro Farm Reeds. There's one. Oh, here we go. Uh, what have we got? 16 reed th fibers. Fantastic. Okay. The day is saved. Give me that igneous rock. Cool, cool, cool. So this one thimble reed is going to be carrying us. Maybe I could get pips to plant them somehow. Atmosphere, oxygen, P oxygen, water, P water, or CO2. That's pretty lenient. 22 to 37 degrees. Not bad. And it has like two things where it says atmosphere? Hmm. They don't have to be half in liquid, do they? Don't, I, I'm pretty sure I've seen reeds that grow without that. Hmm. Metal block is probably the best one considering the decor bonus. From gold and usage of three tiles for a deco range of eight. Metal block, as in for the tiles? Metal tile. Deco plus 15. Huh. Copper plus 20%. Is there like a maximum... Oh, and it's run speed plus 50%. Nice. Alright then. One would think that this is not the prettiest tile, but apparently it is. Crazy dupes. Oh, we don't have that much copper yet. Well, we will. We shall. Decor here. Decor here is already maxed out. I, I don't think we need the metal tiles. But they do run faster on them. Maybe a bit later. Arbor Acorn? Sure, why not? Okay. A mere 34 cycle. What? Oh, I didn't make these out of steel. I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. Oh, no. My bad. Over 9,000 steel, that's handy. Is it red like that? Nine tons of steel, just enough to get space tamed. It's a start. Uh, I guess we could consider building up this way.
First of all, we need like an S bend of bunker tiles here so that so that the meteors don't smashy smashy. Um well Yeah, we'll, we'll do some some bunker tiles like this. Was that bunker tile? It was. And then... Manual airlock. It's probably fine. Just leave it at that for now. You'd be surprised how little gas you actually lose by not swiftly shutting the door. Starving colony starting space project? Uh-oh. Didn't we just start growing our food? Yeah, we did. No, we should be okay. Just waiting for some harvest jobs. Do I have to mark these as high priority? I'm pretty sure we've got a couple of dupes with harvest as a high priority anyway. We'll probably be okay. This was enough when we had like 12, 13 dupes. This should be more than enough. Two rows of bristle blossom. See, we're already up to 8,000k calories. We've got a bunch of these that are just about ready. Eighty ish kilograms of steam per tile. And our latch cycle is still very short. Let's add some more water. Especially while there's heat coming in. Do you need Pryo on the plant? fertilizer machine. Um, I don't know. I hate bristle farms so much. Why? They don't line up with anything that makes me even content. How so? They're just water and electricity. Don't have to worry about running out of dirt or anything. It's just stuff that you need anyway. We got us some overheating ag again. Uh, was it this that we already fixed? Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah. What? What did I set this to? Above 200. Below 201. Steam temp is... 400? Why is... Why is there... Why is there missing wire here? There is wire here. You're joking. Did we, like, snip it when we were snipping something else? What even would we have been snipping? I don't remember snipping anything here. What? What the... Is there no... Automation wire bridge steel? There's no automation wire there. Uh-oh... Uh 
Good morning, JP. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Well, there's your problem. We weren't sucking out any heat. I thought we had steel automation wire here. I don't know how it got broken. It's all steel. This one's iron. I don't see iron melting or anything. Well... I think we're going to have to wait until our petroleum gets a bit cooler. God, that could have resulted in sour gas if it went on long enough. Wait there, please. That's literally almost all of it. That's perfect. Is that petroleum in the steam room floor? I certainly hope not. Uh, it is molten lead. Apparently something got away with being lead in this build. We might have had a single piece of automation wire here that was lead somehow. Lead liquid, yeah. See, it keeps solidifying and then melting again. Yeah. I tried real hard not to have any lead in here after a certain point when we had plenty of steel and iron. Alright, what temp is our... I think we should decon these. It's going to take a while for the petroleum to cool down. Well, we've got a whole lot of electricity to suck up from that. I was going to say it's dropping kind of fast, but then it, like, curved back up. It's weird. Alright. We'll just have to wait until that cools down a bit before we replace those machines. More water? What are we up to? 125 kilograms per tile. Still not that much, but around 150, 200 should be a bit more solid. A bit less flickery. get another eruption. Half a day. Fair enough. Beep, 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 beep. When's the next time we're getting offered another Slickster? Maybe I should breed them and rewild them. Is that possible? How do they work again? They take in oxygen and... Uh, no, they cut... They take in carbon dioxide and turn it into crude oil. Well, there shouldn't be a shortage of CO2 down here. Then again, there's all this P-oxygen here. 
Oh, we've got like a waterlock that's actually really unhelpful now that I think about it. Yeah. Let that CO2 fall down to the bottom of the map. For goodness sake. Did we connect it? We did. Fantastic. It's going to take its sweet time getting there, but that should keep our slickies able to keep making oil. I wish I could get 500 gram pressure tiles outside my bases. What do you mean? Long hairs breathe oxygen and look pretty, indeed. What are we printing? Uh, sure. Wait, we can make omelets with this. How's our food? 5,000k calories, not that good. Um, Reclet egg. Oh, I already set that. But yeah, we've pretty much always got a bristle blossom just about ready to be harvested. Okay. Why is there always water up? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Didn't know J was skills. That's kind of handy. Is it just me, or does water find its way out of the steam room somehow? It's not like ice would find its way over here, right? Alright, what temp is our... Oh. This one's still at 427 degrees because it's... Because it's insulated. Um, well, we can actually let it loop. Since we're not... We don't have anything to exchange heat with here. I guess I could do a liquid shutoff to make sure this comes out... Uh, I mean, it shouldn't be necessary, but... If some kind of little disaster like that happens again... I mean, what's 10 what? 10 watts to prevent a tragedy like that. Nothing. Right? And we need a liquid pipe thermo sensor right about here. And then a bit of automation wire. And then cut this here. And that just goes there. This is really not strictly necessary, but... Apparently a little piece of lead automation wire managed to hide in here. And that the whole thing off and we started taking heat damage on some of our machines. Where did that all, where did all of that heat come from though actually? Oh, because we weren't deleting it with the steam turbines. Hmm. If that doesn't happen for a while. I'm pretty sure we're going to have bigger problems, actually. I think I'll just not really worry about it in that sense. But yeah, it's already dropping below 275. I should be able to queue this up already.
Oh, that's right. I had another one of these over here. Robo Miner. I could put it wherever I like, actually. And convey a loader. Can go. Well, I could put it here if this wasn't in the way. But that. Conveyor loader. Nice soup. Look at this tiny little bit of magma. Too much liquid to mop up. Apparently. And yeah, it's well below 275 now. Cool, cool, cool. Thirty cycles, man. That's too many. I really want to see this working. I guess it won't be today. I could maybe do another hour. I did start an hour later, so maybe I should. Copper build seems to be working just fine, though. I want to see how long the steam turbines run for. Not at all? Okay, no, that's... It is going to happen, eventually. This just heats up even slower than I thought it would. Alright, never mind. Come back some other time. We are at 23k... Uh, 23,000k calories. Fantastic. No more food problems ever. Guaranteed. Uh, actually, just make this igneous rock. Uh, raw mineral... Igneous rock. Fantastic. And apparently it can't reach this one, actually. Huh. Well, you can probably just stay there. Get melted again. Extra hour of tea hacks? Oh my fantastic goodness. Well, it's actually... I guess for some people it's one extra hour. Good point. What should we do in it while we're waiting for that? Keep designing our... Did they already make this? Inexplicable. Crude. Inexplicable crude. Yeah, maybe try again. Um, I don't mind the look of the crude paintings here, except that we got the same one every time. Um, but that sculpture block was suboptimal. Do we have to give someone skills for art? Probably. Who is our artist? Here we go. Oh. Oh, Kegdara has plenty of points. Yeah, let's go. Masterworks artist. I'm pretty sure you're the only one. Yes. Who needs practice when you can just click a button? Okay. Uh... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then one, two, 
And then like this. Mr. Ray Ray, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Disable all others from doing that task if you haven't already. Do you mean I have to click on this specifically, or is it like priorities? Decorating. No, that's not what I wanted. Uh, set the priority for decorating for everyone except Idara. Oh, and he has five creativity? Wait, what? Did I miss, like... Oh, maybe it does need practice. Okay. What are we going to put in our airy pots? I probably want a buddy bud on each side. Where's the gems view? There it is. This is how art works. <laughs> this is... This is beautiful. <laughs> I love this. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to show this to, to my artist friend. <laughs> Art noises. De you know, not looking at it and listening to it, it definitely sounds like some kind of noises. Oh wait, we want to decon these, don't we? So we can put in the lovely arrow pots. It's fine, just slow or not. Yeah, we're getting nothing but crude still. Just the same crude painting <laughs> over and over. Uh, keep keep practicing, Idara. I'm sure you'll get there eventually. Uh, I think this goes here, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Will it be another Doodle D duplicate? Yes, yes it will. Maybe you shouldn't speedrun painting. It's fine. 28 cycles. I really want to see if our new petroleum boiler is good. Two oh seven. Two ten? Oh, it didn't go above two ten. Wait, here we go. Two oh eight, two ten, two eleven. And the steam turbines run for two whole seconds. Maybe it's just going to be like that. We've already got 150 kilograms per tile. What do we have in our other steam rooms? 275? And... 200? And this one's 183. Yeah, I don't think it's going to make that big of a difference. Like, we just don't get as much out of this copper volcano. At least, not all at once. Metal volcano outputs way less heat since low volume, indeed. Oh yeah, and I made two steam turbines on this one. Well, that's true of this one as well. Probably doesn't run for very long either. Alright. It's fine. 
probably. Uptime, last five cycles 11%, 61%. This guy is getting a lot less heat than this guy. It's fine, I suppose. Sandstone? Sure. 13,000 K calories, 15,000. I hope we are trending upward. Looks like we are. Where can I see the rest of that? Average calorie consumption? I want to see calories produced. I guess... I guess not. Okay. Alright. So is this approximately the shape of our final... Uh, final version of our Great Hall? Oh, we might want to put in... We can put in extra decor with drywall as well. I mean, it's already maxed out, but who cares? We've got, like, infinite granite. Uh, it's still a great hole, right? Yes. Alright, give me that buddy bud. And then we'll have... Mirthleaf. And then... We have 12.87081 briar seeds, apparently. Six joyous seeds. And a partridge. There we go. Behold its majesty. Oh, that looks better than complete crap. Masterpiece, nice. Did we have to have the same masterpiece on... Oh, style selection. Wait. Do they have to come and do this? And... This one is... Garbage. So we've got everything is crude or inexplicable, and then we've got two masterpieces. Not sure how that works. But whatever, it's all like max decor in here. That's the main thing. So then we're going to have... How big can the rec room be? Rec room... 96 tiles. Okay. Do we have the rec room here or bath? Oh, I forgot to check. I'm pretty sure when the bell rings, the first thing they do is bathroom, right? We can have a couple of bathrooms here. Probably. It can't be bigger than 64, can it? So if you put it under here, that's, that's 64. And that's 64. If I move it over a tile. Why is Larius hanging around on a ladder? Why you gotta be that way? What if we put bathroom, rec room... So far we haven't had trouble with... 
only four lavatories, right? But we want we want to aim for twenty eventually. Hmm. O two, indeed. For breathing, it's the oxy ladder. No, it's not. We're doing fine for oxygen. Always has been. How's our... Nice chilly 200 degree petroleum. Fantastic. Alright. Yeah, we could maybe work on space a bit more. That's something. So, we want... Something very expendable, igneous rock, for ladder straight up here. Four can be enough, just got to create uh, and offset shifts for 20. Yeah, you might be right, actually. If we've already got 14 and we're not bothering with the shifts, you can test it with me. Just, instead of bath time, give them free time, uh, then they go to the toilet alone if they have to. Uh, our schedule is like... downtime. Yeah, so we're already doing that. I think when we've got three... three sets of downtime, it's probably... we're about to find out. Boop, 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 boop. See when people finish using the bathroom. Kind of cutting it close, actually. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of cutting it close. So we could just about support 14 on four lavatories if they all rush in at the same time. With three, uh, three schedule points for downtime. You know, they've got so much. Why don't I just... Hmm. I, I wish... I wish Recreation Time worked like uh, RimWorld, where they prioritize Recreation, and then when they've had enough, they'll do work. Because then, honestly, I could just about make the entire day downtime. Create another shift, offset all blocks by three or so, indeed. Yeah, um, we don't need this one anymore, do we? Well, let's just grab that. That's not what I meant to do. Uh, one, two, three? How about... You yeah, know, that's fine. How about five? So, bedtime is going to be these three. Downtime is going to be these three. And work is going to be all this. Morale plus two seems good. Actually, give him plus three. Oh, and I almost missed this. Plus four? How far can this go? Plus four, okay. As much downtime as they like, as long as they don't overlap their downtime or sleepy time. Oh, there's like three... Okay, I think I'll move this forward three more, that way there should be always someone working, right? So we're gonna go... Right after... Wait, wait, wait. Right after bath time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five. 
One, two, three. What's the bonus for this? Where does it... Here it is, all attributes plus three at night. I think it's only early risers that care about this, right? We've only got one night owl. Oh, that's wrong. So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, one bath time. So they'll use downtime as bath time. Does that mean if I put this here, there'll still be morale plus four? Yeah. Okay. Okie dokie. So five downtime, three bedtime, the rest is work, and they have morale plus four, and there's no overlap in the two shifts downtimes or bedtimes. Alright, Sloder, obviously. You are a night owl. And then I'll just take... You know what, I'm not even going to check who does what. Um, I'm just going to take the first X number of people that I see. How many do we have? 14. So... 7 each. And if we notice that we have no constructors at night or something, we'll tweak it a bit. Three hours of sleep? Brutal? I mean, it seems to be enough for them. They're not going to say they're tired, right? Yeah, it doesn't say they're tired. Anyway, who says it's an hour? Once you give them big plastic beds, you can drop sleep to two blocks as well. Wow. Wow. Okay. So we can have, uh, yeah, we should be able to get away with just the one full-size bathroom, right? And I probably want to put that around here somewhere. I think we were growing plants here earlier. Get rid of this for now. And... I might have to rethink the shape of this. I don't think we're going to have to keep this area cool. We'll see. In any case, first things first, 64 tiles of bathroom here-ish. Seems good. And drywall, uh, sink. Well, we kind of want to make it only one way in, one way out, right? And then rec room could be over here. That seems fine. He's really enjoying these drywalls. They just make it look... Well, they also give, like, decor, but they also just look actual, you know, not a mess. That's a lot of old wire. Um... Yeah, I think just get rid of it at this point. Oh, we have an old oxygen diffuser that hasn't done anything in forever. Okay. Let's just decon all of that. Then... 
something like this. If I'm gonna have this one big area where the dupes actually live and exhale CO2, uh, I'm gonna have to have like somewhere for the CO2 to fall down to. That's... Well, I guess we can still keep gas in most of the asteroid. Wait, is this vacuum? Whoopsie daisy. That... That airlock is not doing us too many favors right now. Hiding the colored gases? No. I would never. Uh, we might want an auto driller, but then I have to like support it and stuff with electricity and cooling. I don't wanna. So basically I want to just get to the ceiling of the map and start building some bunker tiles. Or at least bunker doors. Copper build seems to be working just fine. Fantastic. Uh, that refined copper is taking its sweet time cooling off, though. Hmm. Maybe I should do both. Oh, we're not doing... Yeah, no. Uh, what if I had a temperature sensor here? I think I would need another not gate. Conveyor rail thermo sensor. And basically make it give a red signal if temp is above X. I don't think we have to worry about the throughput of mass. Like it's gonna it's going to transfer its temperature, no trouble. This will be able to keep up with it. So yeah, one more knot gate. Whoops. So that we can put it right about here. Seems good. Never mind food issue. Check your surface diggers. I think we're okay for the moment. And let's continue climbing. How high can I put these? Oh. I thought I would have to put it like here for some reason. All right. I think I would like first one of these to go just to the left of this ladder. I know I can skip a tile every time, but I think I'll add a little redundancy there. Alert surface breach. Yeah, you don't say. Fantastic. Uh, still twenty three cycles. I don't, yeah, no, we're not going to see this today. Most unfortunate. Although, it would be a nice way to start the stream to see our petroleum working. Pretty sure 23 cycles is way too long, though. It's like, 
what, five or ten minutes per cycle? Uh, 118 minutes if it's only five minutes. It's like two hours. Yeah, we're really not seeing that today. I wish there was a faster time warp. Oh, here we go. So... Blow 201. Next time we get copper in 1.1 cycles, we should see it waiting on the conveyor rail so that the individual chunks of copper can get cooled much quicker. One cycle remains. This one's looking just fine. Alright, what about the temperature of these? 184... Sorry, 205, which is fine. 204, 210, fantastic. In other words, the temperature range of the steam room. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, we already got our ladder up here. Let's hurry up and get uh, a decent number of these bunker doors done so that we stop getting asteroids raining on our ladder. 6.6 tons, we can actually do like uh, 12 of these if we are so inclined. And that might already be enough. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Go inside, please. Go inside, please. Evil Plur, inside. Sigma Bean, inside. There we go. Well, we got one bunker door done. We were so close to... Well, some degree of safety. Wait four cycles till we see how this works. And it looks like I'm... has been fine for a while. Wait, what's this? What is saying it's not connected here. Power transformer, no power. What do you mean? What? Ye uh, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna pretend I didn't see that. Okay. What was that red... Oh, no power. Oh! Oh, we actually have power problems. Are we out of coal? No. Why are our coal generators idle? Don't tell me it's because this is flooded. It doesn't say it's flooded. Smart battery. Power available zero joules. Is it sending a green signal? And then... Temperature. Oh, we're trying not to cook the base? With the coal generators? Um... Hmm... Where did we just get this heat from, though? 
Oh, it's the igneous rock slowly cooling off, I guess. So there's still quite a bit of energy in there, but we're going to be getting it slowly. Once we start getting our solar farms going, then we're really going to have an abundance of cooling. It's going to be a lot easier than the first time with the throughput of steel that we've got. Way easier. What are we printing? And how is this damaged? Uh, probably just someone carrying something past it, honestly. It's made of lead. Someone had occasion to carry something hot in here. Like... Iron, for example? Yeah, that probably did it. Let's replace these real quick. And of course they're going to go in and immediately get upset that they have sore eyes from immersing themselves in chlorine instead of finishing this build so that they don't have to do that. Good job. Good job. Can, please continue not finishing that build. Prioritizing everything else. Apparently. This is supposed to be set to the other thing, right? Always? Yeah. And then we have to wait till this is built just so we can click the very obvious thing. And now it should work. And don't forget to reactivate this. Alright, I, I think we need to allow our coal generators to run a bit more. Keep in mind that one Atmo suit is somewhere now, as it wasn't returned. Yeah, it'll it'll be picked up somewhere. I don't build too many, basically. It'll get delivered. How much coal do we have? 20 tons, not too bad. Food is... I think it's slowly crawling back up, probably. That smart battery is made of lead. Gotta replace it for the non-melty one. This one? Oh yeah, you're right. Let's hurry up with that. What a waste of 20,000 jewels. It's fine. Do, do I really have to... There we go. Alright. Default settings should be okay for that one. Actually, a default like 10 to 90 or 18 to 50, 85 or something? No, they're not. God damn it. That'll do. Alright. Can we hurry up and get this bunker door built? Oh. Of course I need to manually redig that every time. Why wouldn't I? Here we go.
I love how pleased with themselves they are for digging, like, two pieces of sand, basically. Calories go burn. We're back into double digits, boys. Survival is back on the menu. Did we run out of reed fiber yet? No, we've got two left. Fantastic. Body temperature. That's not going to be an issue when this area becomes an air-conditioned paradise. But for now... Why do we keep making crap sculptures over here? Also, time to make some lavatories. And sinks. And... Where are we going to get our water from? We obviously need to run the polluted water from here, at the very least. This pea water could go up here. And then water could go this way. And then pea water like this. Yeah, that should be fine. goes here. Where did we stop? Oh, I see. Wait, do I? Uh, kinda. Yeah. Please hurry up. We don't want the toilets to not flush. There we go. Don't go back that way. And then get rid of this. Maybe I should force it to drain a bit faster on this side. There we go. Okay, so be gone. Fantastic. And we'll have some water out of here. Coming into the bathrooms. We're about to run out of sandstone. Oops. I think we had reason to not have these all in a straight line, actually. I'd love to hide them all behind the buildings, but it doesn't really work out that way. Unfortunately, we can't, like, bridge across like this because of the way the fluid input-outputs work. Wait, what if I had some kind of... Bridge shenanigans. What was I thinking? If this one goes down here, this one goes back here. And then... It's going to be hard to follow. This one goes... 
down here, this one goes back here, this one goes down, this one goes back. This one goes down, this one goes up this way, I guess. This is going to get confusing. And is it going to have anywhere to go? This would go in here, and these two would be 50-50. And then what? No. 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 This is heresy. Make it stop. Also blocking each other's output, indeed. Ah, <sighs> Can we make the pipes out of something that looks nice? I don't think so. Decor plus 20% from zero. This is decor minus five. And this is minus five. God damn it. Well, this is neutral, apparently. And we'll have that one go back up here. Uh, and stop whatever this is. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, okay. We've got water in our pee water loop. Is that a problem? I know we've got pee water supplying... Wait, no we don't. No, we've got the magic arbitraries that don't need any pee water. Are we using anything that specifically needs pee water at this point? I don't think so, as long as we stay within a, within the water temperature range for our coolant. It will eventually get filtered out kind of randomly by the water sieves. Oh wow, we've got tons of water now. That's good, it means we're going to stop getting as much hot water coming in. It means the base is going to not require as much energy to cool down. Um, but yeah, do I need to put in a filter to get the... Get the water out from the pee water system. Theoretically no, but I really don't like the idea of random water in that loop. Also, why is it hiccuping every two seconds? Are we building pipes right now? That was probably it. Yeah. So I actually did that part backward. This should... No, that's right. Just doesn't have anywhere to go yet. And this will go here. And into here. It will filter eventually. Your loop is in range. Shouldn't cause a problem, TM. It's probably not a problem, probably. It's well within acceptable limits. Um, where is it? Where's our filtery boy? Why can't I see it? What? Really? Can you not make it so that when your hitches that are totally unnecessary happen, they ruin the input as well? Filter. That's a gas filter. Oh, this is a liquid filter. It looks weird. Um... Yeah, that should be fine. And supposedly you only pay power for this when you filter out the thing that you're looking for. We need some electricity. 
Fresh the tea, speaking of which. If you got a plumber, you could empty the pipe as well. It's a lot of pipe. I would have to, like, trap the water somewhere and then go and specifically remove it. Okay, and I'm just gonna... Just gonna dump the water out here. Okay. So I think that's basic. Is this trying? Is this waiting for sandstone? Yeah, it is. I think that's basically everything for the new bathrooms. And we can just leave that open, right? It only has to, like, count as a partition. We'll eventually put a seal here, an airlock. Also, calling lies on it only consuming when filtering. Noticed a liquid shut off with negative 10 draining while not in use. Hmm. Oh, that's a liquid shut off, though. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I can always jump into the... jump into the sandbox to find out. Can we hurry up and build this? I would be far, 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 far more patient with these things if I could put the settings of the liquid filter in when I place the blueprint. So I didn't have to stare at this until it gets done. Construction supply. Larius was about to do it and changed his mind. So did Cavern. Is this because we've only got one Atmo suit? Probably, yeah. Uh... Uh... Can you guys stop putting polluted dirt in here? It's not as important. Ravna. Have a pipsqueak. Why not? Okay, apparently I need to, like, drop the priority of this to one, so they stop stealing the one at pursuit. R really? Did it say picked up zero dirt? Picked up zero polluted dirt? Are you serious right now? It's at priority one. It sure did. What the actual? Fine, we're opening the floodgates. You brought this on yourselves. Get chlorined. Okay. Uh, filter is regular water. And of course, until we remove this thing, we don't want that pipe connection. So why are they, like, picking up or storing zero dirt? And what do I do about that? Picked up polluted dirt zero. If I didn't have so many idle hands, um, that would be really upsetting. 18.5 cycles. Maybe next project to make living quarters so you can atmo suit them all. Yeah, that's what I've slowly been working on, but I haven't given it as much attention as I probably should have. 
Like, that is what we're working on over here. That's why there's all these Atmo suit things here. Were they bringing the grams of dirt? I don't know. Oh, they're bringing it to here. It's polluted dirt and or slime that stays underwater. Polluted dirt is evaporating from storage. Dupes probably have nowhere else to store it. <sighs> Priority four. How about that? I don't think that's going to help. Didn't we... Hmm, I could make... I did make this thing except polluted dirt and slime. Maybe I should just... Uh, maybe we should just stop with the organics in these two chests. Where did you just take that? And why is this broken? Lomo Aquatuna pipe. Pipe blocked. Insulated liquid pipe repair errand. Too cold? Wait. Oh, it was probably water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We probably made ice in here. Because I set this thing to 14 degrees. I have to be above 14 degrees before we run polluted water through two of these. So negative 28. So it's going to come out at negative 14. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine for polluted water. It can go down to... That's that's a pipe. That, that's a pipe. Okay. Uh... It can go down to negative 20 before it freezes. Well, that's going to get itself sorted out. And there's our answer to whether or not we should get the water out of the polluted water loop as quickly as possible. Which I think we've already done by now. Alright. Are we going to get this repaired? Ever. I can probably turn this back on now. Uh, and I don't really care how long it takes them to delete this now. Polluted dirt is evaporating from storage? That shouldn't happen underwater. Jeeps probably have nowhere else to store it. Hmm. Okay. Did we, like, finish with this copper build? I think we did. Everything seems to work pretty... Oh, that's right. I wanted to see it erupt and make sure... We were transferring heat from the copper to the steam room better. Point 0.4 cycles. We could probably see that before we finish today. Alright, have a look around for who to raid. Oxygen not included. We got Discount Engineer, always a good bet. And not a whole lot else. Okay. I think I know who we're raiding today. How close are we? 0 0.2 cycles. Yeah, that 500 degrees of 7.32 tons of copper. It's going to take a little while to cool off. 
going to take a lot longer to cool off if we don't temperature check before we drop it here. And... 50 seconds. Let's go. There she blows. 12.4 kilograms per second of copper. For like three seconds. And it's going to drop down to solid copper temperatures pretty soon. I can't remember off the top of my head where it is exactly. It's got to be more than 1200, right? Oh, nope. 1084. That's actually going to take a minute to cool off. Much now a bit. I already queued up the raid. Oh no. Foiled by my obsidian tiles. Which are also cooling off. Which should mean this cools off faster. Hurry up. We're not going to make it. Something is overheating? No, it's not. That could never possibly happen anywhere. Was? Okay. Alright, thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Stars! Hello! Welcome, thank you. Thank you for the follow. Tyrannosaurus Hacks, hello! Welcome in.